Friday. In his prayer opening Thursday's Senate session, Chaplain Barry Black asked God to please be near to the families of the victims of the Fort Hood shooting. On the House side, Congressman John Carter said, I would like to ask the House to join me in a moment of silence and hopefully prayer for the entire Fort Hood community. Steve Coleman, Washington. Crews investigating a radiation leak in the government's underground nuclear waste dump near Carlsbad, New Mexico, hope to make a second trip into the Half Mile Repository later today. Correspondent Ross Simpson explains. Officials say workers who went into the waste isolation pilot plant on Wednesday to install air monitors and communications equipment found no airborne radiation. On Friday, however, they say workers are prepared to encounter contamination as they make their way deep into the mine. If all goes well, officials say that should set the stage for a third entry when crews will try to figure out what caused the release of radiation? I'm Ross Simpson. A bill to renew jobless benefits for the long term unemployed is heading for a final vote in the Senate. Correspondent Jerry Bodlander has the details. The bill would renew the benefits for more than 2 million Americans who've been out of work for more than 26 weeks and whose benefits have run out since December when the program expired. It cleared the final procedural hurdle with one vote to spare. The yeas are 61, the nays are 35. All the no votes came from Republicans. Unhappy Democrats won't allow votes on some of their employment proposals. Senate passage is set for Monday, though there is little indication the GOP-controlled House will consider the measure. Jerry Bodlander, Capitol Hill. <laughs> Observers are looking for better numbers over February when the Labor Department releases its monthly unemployment report. Correspondent Warren Levinson has the details. Economists anticipate the March numbers will show a job market continuing to thaw out. I expect a good report. John Sylvia, chief economist at Wells Fargo Securities, expects job creation to come in at 198000 with hours worked, wages, and participation all up. What we want to see is more jobs and that the average wage being paid is also up. And that combination gives you a nice boost to personal income. Sylvia says short-term unemployment rates are recovering to where they were a decade ago, but the economy remains grim for those out of work a long time. Warren Levinson, New York. Who doesn't want a pay hike? Believe it or not, Congress. Lawmakers in Congress are again making moves to freeze their pay. Correspondent Carlotta Bradley explains why our elected officials are saying no to that raise. House leaders are engineering another freeze in lawmakers' automatic cost-of-living pay hike. Their proposal would freeze congressional salaries at $174,000 a year and is attached to legislation to fund Congress's budget. It was approved by a House appropriations panel. Lawmakers haven't gotten a pay increase since 2009, with Congress voting to deny itself the raise for five straight years. The scheduled 1.6 percent hike would give lawmakers a raise of about $2,800. Carlotta Bradley, Washington. He was a World War II hero who became president. Now those waiting to visit a national monument to honor former President Dwight Eisenhower are going to have to wait a while longer. Correspondent Jackie Quinn tells us why. The National Capital Planning Commission rejected the current design for a memorial to honor President Eisenhower. The vote is in line with the family's objections to the architect's design. Massive columns holding large stainless steel tapestries framing an expansive memorial park with statues of Eisenhower as president and as a general at the center. The Planning Commission chairman voted for changes to be reviewed every two months, agreeing with those who say it's time to stop the endless debate over a memorial. Jackie Quinn, Washington. And that's the news for Radio VR in Washington. I'm Kate Zickel. And I'm Rick Young. During a curt Skype session earlier this afternoon, local Williamsburg resident, 29-year-old Cormac Flanagan, reminded his mother to, quote, try and be more careful after she forgot to pay his cell phone bill. Mom, the phone company called today about my cell phone bill. Oh, I'm so sorry. I completely forgot. No, m Mom, I'm not mad, but you had to stay on top of these things, you know. I know, you know I know. You can't keep waiting until the last minute like this. Well, I don't want to have to keep reminding you every month. You know, I need my phone. I use it 
All, every I, every I day. Talk. I need I my phone. I'm, I know. I'm constantly I know. I'm, using I'm so bad. I'm, I'm really sorry. sorry. I'll, I'll get on it. Today. All right. You know, just so you know, you know, this really easy thing you can do, you know, there's this online auto pay. You just deducts in your bank account every month. Yeah. Quite yeah. easy. I, I know. Okay. I know. I, I know. It's fine. I know it's, how it's, how it's, fine. it's fine. It's fine. Just don't let it become a pattern. You know, I, I, know, I, know, I know you can do better than this. Uh, okay. I, I promise. I'll get on it today, okay? This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. In studio tonight, it's Daryl and Stephanie. Brian, the golden black stallion stud. What what what's his official title that Something he calls sexy. himself? Something sexy. Triple black. Yeah, uh, Brian will be here. He <laughs> is getting some food for himself and the lovely Dr. Murphy. But you may have noticed that neither of us are Ian. Ian is actually down in Florida tonight, and he will not be back until late Sunday night, early Monday morning. But while he's gone, we're holding it down. Your calls are welcome to 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Or via Skype, username lrn.fm. And, you know, we're going to start the show with a very interesting story out of Maryland. Mm. And it's one that actually sort of goes back 30 years. So what, what do I mean? It's a story that goes back 30 years in Maryland. Well, the Maryland legislature has recently passed a resolution or some kind of bill to seize the property used by Netflix in the making of their television series House of Cards. Is this an April Fool's joke? This is not. (laughs) It sounds like it could be made up. If it's an April Fool's joke, then Forbes posted it about five days early. (laughs) Yeah. Is it a publicity stunt for House of Cards? No. And the story that I have actually explains why this goes back 30 years, because we know House of Cards isn't a 30-year-old show. No. But 30 years ago, the Baltimore Colts, now Indianapolis Colts, football team left Baltimore okay. and went to Indianapolis. And the legislature on March 29th of 1984 threatened to use eminent domain to keep the football team in Baltimore. Oh, so seriously? This I didn't... is something that in the <laughs> Bay State goes back at least 30 years threatening to use eminent domain to make sure something stays where you want it to be. Wow. I, so I've never actually heard of a case where the government used eminent domain to keep somebody from leaving a state. I've, I've heard of them kicking people off their property because of it. Right. Well, they didn't actually use the eminent domain. They threatened to. And how would they actually even accomplish that? That's a very good question, and I don't know. Would they like just eminent domain the team, like the corporation? That's what they tried to do. Was use eminent domain? I guess that's all they could on do. the corporation and say you cannot leave. You must play your games here. These people are so silly. Do they know how to do anything voluntarily? Do it, they know the word like, persuasion? <laughs> it seems like an abusive spouse yeah. in a lot of ways. Of you can't leave me. I'm going to eminent domain you. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm going to use eminent domain to make sure that you stay with me. That's like I'm going to lock you in the basement to your your spouse who wants a divorce. Yeah, that's oh, yeah? The you want a domain. divorce? I'm going to lock that, you that's in the, the house. That's the eminent domain. Yeah. <laughs> so the story here that I have from Forbes says Frank Underwood, and Frank Underwood, for those who have never watched House of Cards, Frank Underwood is the main character of the show. Frank Underwood could be the latest victim of eminent domain. House of Cards has threatened to abandon filming in Maryland unless lawmakers offer millions of dollars in tax credits. So, 
Delegate William Frick, delegate is what they call their legislators in Maryland, Delegate William Frick countered by introducing an amendment that would let the government seize the property of the production company behind the popular Netflix series if they leave the state. Frick told the Washington Post, I literally thought, what is an appropriate Frank Underwood response to a threat like this? (laughs) Eminent domain really struck me as the most dramatic response. You know, I heard there was gang activity in Baltimore, but I didn't know there was it was this bad. Yeah, and so then the article here from Forbes goes on to talk about the situation that happened in 1984 when the Colts left Baltimore. It says the night before Bob Ursay, the owner, ordered the Colts to pack up. This was on March 28th, 1984, Mm -hmm. the night before the previous mentioned date of March 29th. The night before, he ordered the Colts to pack up and slip out under cover of darkness. Oh my gosh, so they literally like fled for their lives. They fled in the middle of the night. (laughs) That's nuts. Ursay was faced with a bizarre tactic by the city. They were planning to authorize eminent domain, a government power usually used to build infrastructure and schools to force the Colts to stay in Baltimore. His move would both make him one of the most controversial owners in the history of the NFL and highlight a little-known ability of governments. And I'm guessing 30 years ago it was little-known, but in the last, what, 10 years or so, eminent domain has become fairly common as far as things that people know governments can do. Yeah, what I was thinking, when was Kilo versus New London? That was like 2005, right? 05. Yeah, so about 10 years ago. And the lot that, or rather the lots, the large amount of lots and acreage that were given to Pfizer by the city of New London. Through eminent domain. Through eminent domain is now vacant. I heard about that. They never finished the project. They were supposed to have built all of this stuff and brought in all of these jobs. And and taxes for the the state too, right? Oh, of of course there's going to be taxes because there's going to be people working. Right. Connecticut has this horrible thing called an income tax. Luckily, we don't have that at the state level here in New Hampshire. No. But yeah, that is a tragic case because there were people who didn't want to sell their property. You know, the first thing that the state does when they want to take seize something by eminent domain is they make you an offer and they say, we'll pay you this much for your house. If you don't want to sell your house, you say, no, go away. Uh, it's not like they give you a higher offer. Then they say, oh, yeah, we're going to take it anyway. And then they make you a lower offer. <laughs> basically. Right. And And start the legal proceedings. I remember when I was a teenager, the city of Birmingham, Alabama threatened to use eminent domain to purchase my great grandmother's house. Really? To turn a large section of land into parking for the local football stadium. Parking? Oh, that's so... Well, Hey, here, it's here's, kind of offensive, right? Your house isn't... We'd rather have a parking lot than your house. Well, here's the thing. During football season, my great-grandmother would actually use her yard for parking. Mm. All of the neighbors did. So it was all done voluntarily anyway. It was anyway. all done voluntarily. Oh. And I was going to say, is the football team like a public good suddenly? Like, isn't this supposed to be for like building roads and like bridges and things that like. It's a college football team. uh, So, of course, it's a public good. (laughs) Wow. It just seems like the the definition of what they need to use it for, so called, is creeping and creeping and getting bigger. (laughs) So, when I was real young, we would charge $5 per car. Mm -hmm. And then. When I became, you know, like a teenager, was able to drive myself, bumped it up to $10 a car. And was it then, like a valet situation or no, did no. people just parked wherever they could? You, No, it wasn't a park wherever you can. <laughs> we would actually 
line the cars up and squeeze as many as possible, mm. we could get 40 cars in her yard. Wow, that's pretty Squeezing good. Squeezing them in tight. And how many at would the ten dollars par- a car? How many would the parking lot have gotten? Well, it would have been a huge parking lot. More <laughs> on parking lots, eminent domain, Frank Underwood, and of course the Black Stallion has joined the studio oh next on Free Talk Live. Remember how bad your allergies were last year? <laughs> When they hit again, be prepared with new Nasacort Allergy 24-Hour, the first full-strength 24-hour prescription nasal spray available without a prescription. Unlike antihistamines, it blocks more of the body's chemical responses that cause nasal allergy symptoms, relieving the worst of them, including congestion, for 24 hours. New Nasacort Allergy 24-Hour stops more of what makes you miserable. Use as directed may take up to one week of daily use to feel the most symptom relief. People are waking up. People are saying no to GMO, gluten, toxins, and sugars. The masses are moving to holistic, natural, and organic foods and supplements. Life Change Tea is a non-GMO, gluten-free product that helps your body overcome sickness and obesity. You need to order to experience the change. Log on to GetTheTea.com. That's GetTheTea.com. Or call us at 928-308-0408. Again, 928-308-0408. You need to order to experience your health change. GetTheTea.com. Amanda Bosold here from Midas Resources. Today, April 4th, 2014, gold opened at $1297.60. A one-ounce gold coin can be purchased for $1344.77, $672.38 for a half ounce, or $336.19 for a quarter ounce. Again, that's $1344.77, $672.38, and $336.19. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? Wait a sec. Gold and silver is going up while Congress is trying to settle on the next debt increase. And there's no end to this madness. That old 401k and IRA can be converted into physical gold without tax consequences. I explain this in my book, 10 Reasons to Buy Gold. Don't let time slip away. Call for your free copy today, 800-686-2237. Get away from that Washington spin and get honest answers about gold. 800-686-2237. The book is free, 800-686-2237. Following today's press conference in which NASA announced its continuing search for a planet capable of supporting NASA, researcher Dr. Kenneth Heiser sat down with Onion reporters to detail their ongoing mission to find a NASA habitable planet. Our objective is to find a planet capable of nurturing not just life, but also a sustained interest in the exploration of the cosmos. Uh, Such a planet would need to have water and proximity to light and heat, but also life forms with even the vaguest understanding of the importance of astronomical exploration. Ultimately, this would need to be a planet with organisms that have a genuine interest in expanding the limits of their knowledge. Heiser added that any planet capable of supporting NASA would need to be able to generate a steady stream of financing to meet the agency's $18 billion annual budget. The important thing is we just need to be patient. There's a limitless number of planets in the universe and eventually we'll find one with the resources to support our work. We just have to, right? This is the Onion News Network. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Lil Drums. Every bit as fun as a full-size Nestle drumstick cone and definitely cuter. Visit us at drumstick.com. Vacations are all about family time, but you don't have to leave home to have fun. Take one weekend a month and devote it to family activities. Pull out the board games and puzzles, serve up some treats, or have a picnic. Even without leaving home, you'll feel like you've really had some time away. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at facebook.lrn.fm. That's facebook.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. And this is not Ian. Ian is down in Florida 
He will be back on Monday. But in studio tonight, it's Daryl. And Brian. And Mark. I mean, Stephanie. <laughs> you are not Mark. Yeah. You are way too lovely to be Mark. Oh, I think Mark Mark's is lovely. Mark's pretty lovely, but yeah. thank you. I didn't say Mark wasn't lovely. <laughs> Just that Stephanie is more lovely. I'll than agree Mark. with that. I'll agree with that. At least I'm but better. But if you want to hear Mark and Ian... Well, you can't do that live tonight, but sometime after the show tonight, you can go to archives.freetalklive.com and hear Mark and Ian going all the way back to 2006. That is a lot of archives, and I have not done the math to figure out how long it would take you to listen to all of the archives. I have. It's it's um like tens of thousands of hours of content. Tens of thousands <laughs> of hours. Like I, I'm I'm just curious if one sat down and stayed awake the entire <laughs> time, how many days would it take to listen to every show? Well it, it would it's take almost incalculable. <laughs> it would take less time than reading all the laws, which that's something that Ian always says that it's like basically impossible. Somebody yes. did the math and you can't like read all the laws even if you read for like 40 hours a you know 80 hours a week straight or something like that. But you probably could it would be humanly possible to listen to all the free talk lives, but you'd have to put some effort into it. You would have to put a lot of effort into it, but if you want the effort You can go to archives.freetalklive.com. And even if you don't want to put in the effort to listen to all of the shows, you can still peruse the archives there at archives.freetalklive.com. And, uh, boy, if you want to get some more liberty, that's that's a whole hell of a lot of liberty to take in. But you could, if you want more liberty, how about in your lifetime, you could come to the Free State Project. Uh, and not just to the Free State Project, which is New Hampshire, which is where we're trying to get together 20,000 liberty-loving individuals, uh, you know, to to work towards the goal of, uh, of, again, liberty in our lifetime. But you can come for the Porcupine Freedom Festival. And let me tell you, if you're on the fence about coming to New Hampshire, come to the Porcupine Freedom Festival and you will become a Free State participant in no time. <laughs> yes. It, it, it's that great. Uh, it's uh, up in by the White Mountains. I mean, this Lancaster is, at the yeah, Lancaster. lovely Rogers Campground. That's right. Uh, yeah, just, and Free Talk Live is actually broadcast live for a week from the woods of New Hampshire uh, up at Rogers Campground during Pork Fest, and we always have a great time. Yeah, it's it's fantastic. Really, I mean, there, there's just so much available there, so much to do. The best uh, thing is being in the woods with a bunch of those libertarians about a thousand yeah. of your closest libertarian friends yeah, yeah it's more like 1500 last year or something like that but it grows every year i mean yeah i mean it's this becoming, is the 11th one this is yeah, a big deal it's becoming the burning man of liberty yeah so porkfest.com if you want to find out more about that believe me you will not be disappointed you will not but if you live in maryland and you live near the set for House of Cards, you might be disappointed because House of Cards apparently has threatened to leave Maryland, move their production somewhere well, else. Well, they film there, right? Yes. Right. Well, for now they do. For now. <laughs> right. And the Maryland legislature has, has threatened to use eminent domain to seize the set for House of Cards. So a show about government corruption is uh, becoming victim (laughs) to government corruption. The irony. And this is not the first time that the Maryland legislature has had this problem. Oh, yeah. We got to catch Brian up on this story. Back Um, in 1984, when the Baltimore Colts left to become the Indianapolis Colts. Right. There was a threat to use eminent domain to keep the football team in Baltimore. Wow. Yes. They were going to eminent domain a football team. Can you believe that, Brian? (laughs) So that led to... This is clearly part of the public good. I mean, you know, this is important as the roads. (laughs) That, That led to me talking about what almost happened to my great grandmother's house in Birmingham, where her house was about a block away from Legion Field, which is the big football stadium in Birmingham, 
where the University of Alabama used to play all of their home football games. Okay. So when I was a kid, young kid, before I even went to school, I would help my dad and my brother park cars in her yard. $5 a car. Then as I got older, it moved up to $10 a car. And that's when the city threatened to use eminent domain to seize all of the properties where people were actually parking cars in their yard during football games. For what purpose? To build a parking lot. Because we obviously need parking because you're parking cars in your yard. You're getting 40 (laughs) cars in your yard. All right. Now, wait a minute. This is before you went to school, Daryl. So what? This is the 1940s? No, no. No. No, I just... This was about 1995-ish when they threatened to use the eminent domain. Wow. To... So 10 years before Kilo, your grandmother could have been Suzette Kilo, but like er- earlier. So like the what they version. instead decided to do was declare that everybody parking cars in their yard was operating a business and required them to purchase a yearly business license. Oh, unbelievable. Wow. $100 a year to be able to park cars in your yard. Crushing entrepreneurship at every turn. Yeah, and then what do you have to do? Charge 20 bucks a parking spot instead of five? I mean, that's no, no, unbelievable. No, would, no, would still be $10 a car, but you know, you're cutting into profit there. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. So you, you would still, you know, $400 per game. But then, because the city increased the rent on the University of Alabama, Mm -hmm. the school wound up playing fewer and fewer games in Birmingham until they just left completely and went and played on campus in Tuscaloosa. As if they weren't getting enough in property taxes anyway. Uh, that That's yeah. right. You know what I mean? Do now these they people want... see what's going on? Like, they're just like, oh, yeah, you know, we'll just ratchet up the taxes and regulations. And then people are like, uh, yeah, like the productive class is like, yeah, uh, I think we're going to leave. And then they call them traitors well, or something. That, that's probably. what's happened in places like Birmingham, Alabama and Detroit, Michigan. Yeah. And a lot of these other cities to where, you know, there is no real productive class in the community. You see a lot of the businesses that are boarded up. There was something that came across my Facebook page a couple of days ago where it was photos of abandoned shopping malls. Oh, Not yeah. just shopping malls like the one we have in Keene where there's only three businesses that are active. <laughs> Like these were actually abandoned shopping malls. I saw this. there were one of the no saddest things I've ever seen yeah. in there anymore. The plants just grew out from the planted things and were starting to grow up and down the halls. Yeah, it looked like a dystopia film. It looked like something that you would see in one of these zombie movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I, I swore that I was going to see Daryl Dixon jump out from behind an <laughs> escalator with the big giant crossbow. Your calls, of course, are welcome. 855-450-FREE. Call in. Talk about anything. Eminent domain, zombies, you take control. For years, you've been hearing about Herbal Healer Academy and how it's remained the leader in effective alternative and natural medicine and education. But how can they continue to hold that title for years on end? The answer is high quality and huge selection. Just visit HerbalHealer.com and shop online or request a free catalog. You're bound to find the alternative you're looking for. Did you know that Herbal Healer carries the latest, safest, and effective weight loss products? You can also count on Herbal Healer for the largest selection of safe and natural supplements just for children. And don't forget your pets. Herbal Healer even has natural mineral supplements for all your animals, including horses, cows, and birds. Take a peek at their online calendar, and you're sure to find everything you need and maybe something you didn't realize you needed. Visit HerbalHealer.com, and don't forget to sign up for the free Herbal Healer newsletter. HerbalHealer.com, working with the power of nature. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. 
When you're planning your move, consider Keen. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keen. Keen is the Liberty Media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers, and sellers too? Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. A meme is not easy to define. What is it? But you know it when you see it. Amazing. Don't tread on meme.com proves that. I feel so enlightened. Don't tread on meme, M E M E, helping you give the finger to our monetary system of deception by providing you with silver dime trading cards. Unlike today's dollar, they have value. And they look neat, too. Oh, would you look at those? Aren't those just swell? Don't tread on meme.com. While you're browsing their numerous silver dime card designs, take time to download the easy-to-use silver calculator app. This simple piece of technology lets you know instantly, whether using iPhone or Android, just how much your silver coin is worth. Find out all the details at don'ttreadonmeme.com. Now accepting Bitcoin. Don't tread on meme your path to a voluntary society with honest money. Don't tread on meme.com, serving you faster than the Fed prints money. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. Call in, talk about whatever you want. We've been talking eminent domain, and the we tonight is me, Daryl. And Brian. And Mark. Oh, I mean, Stephanie, I keep messing that up. (laughs) (laughs) Well, we're so used to hearing the and Mark (laughs) six nights of the week. Right. But you're confusing people because Mark's not here on Fridays. (laughs) So the Friday listeners do not hear and Mark. I'm scared to death Fridays. people are already turning the show off. <laughs> Stephanie and I are here. <laughs> no comment on that, but if you want to watch the show, you can do that by going to cam.freetalklive.com. We've got two webcams and a fancy script that flips between the two cameras at various intervals between like 15 and 30 seconds. So you never know if you're going to see the wide shot or the close-up of the lovely Stephanie. But there's also a chat room built in to the cam feed. That is cam.freetalklive.com. So we've been talking about the eminent domain. And this started because, well, this discussion, not the practice of eminent (laughs) domain, The discussion began because of a story on Forbes.com relating to House of Cards possibly moving out of Maryland and the Maryland legislature sort of answering by threatening to seize the set used by the production company that films House of Cards. 
You, you know, this is really, this is what they have to do. The You know, I mean, the eminent domain thing, which is ludicrous, and I'm, I'm very interested to hear more about that. But the, you know, the entertainment industry, the film industry, the TV industry has moved around so many times. I mean, it used to be Hollywood, you know, and then Desilu Studios, everything just got so expensive to even run there, you know, uh, or Paramount Studios, whatever. And then it went to, uh, it went up to Vancouver, it even it left the country, and then Vancouver gets you know gets this 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 hubris or this you know just this really arrogant attitude where they can charge these shows any amount of money, and then the, these shows want to leave again. And now I think the, I think they've these governments have wisened up that if you want something to be filmed there, you can't charge them that much. So now what they're doing is is they're they're, they're doing a, apparently eminent domain. So. I, I actually opened up the Washington Post article about this that is linked from Forbes, and apparently what happened is there was a friendly amendment. How do you like that term for <laughs> wow. using eminent domain? Oxymoron. A friendly amendment added to a budget, and it was approved and applauded. One delegate from Maryland, Sam Aurora, put a message out on Twitter that says, how did this happen is at Bill Frick, the new Frank Underwood. All that and more will be revealed in the coming days. The state Senate of Maryland is not expected to agree to the powerful property grab especially after senators voted 45 to 1 last week to increase the amount of tax credits in the coming year to $18.5 million, hoping to appease the production company so that it doesn't have to follow through on its threat. Does anybody take these people seriously anymore? It's so obvious that it's the whole thing is just a joke. It's just a grab for money and power, and they're going to do any by any means necessary, force included. Yeah, and not just the fictional Frank Underwood, but even in this case, the production company is saying, if you don't give us more money, we're leaving. Mm. So the whole thing began with, we want more money, and it sadly wasn't the government in this case Wow, wanting wow. more money. Wow. It was the production company wanting tax cuts. <sighs> Well, you know, that's what happens when you start to play the game sort of within their system. Uh, you know, oh, there's just so many levels of but, wrong here. It's making my head hurt. Yeah, that that's really, that is almost the opposite of what I expected. Because like I said, usually it's, uh, you know, the governments, like in California, like I said, in Hollywood, they start charging more and more and more. And, and the, you know, the production companies leave. But in this case, it was the production company. I, yes. Uh, that is shocking. But, I mean, maybe that's how powerful the entertainment industry is now, which, I, I mean, maybe there's yeah, a case for that. Yeah, of course, because even here in New Hampshire, there has been legislation to provide tax credits and tax breaks to production companies to try to incentivize people to come film in New Hampshire. Is that why Jumanji was filmed in Keene? Uh, that happened, what, like 30 years ago? <laughs> The, wow, we're getting old. The, the legislation <laughs> for tax credits has been within the last year. Oh, interesting. Mm. So what is that? I mean, I've heard that uh, New Hampshire is one of two legal locales in the U.S. that it's okay to film porn. So uh, are, It's one of two locations where courts have affirmed the right. Uh-huh. And I forget the exact case here in New Hampshire, but it was a case, you know, basically revolving around the right to film porn i wasn't involved i swear and the <laughs> sure <laughs> the uh you know sort of decision was as long as the act of exchanging money for sex was filmed and distributed it was not prostitution <laughs> Wow. <laughs> so right. it, it goes one step further than just you can make porn in New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. It's a court affirming that this, by definition, is not prostitution. As it long is as you porn. get it on tape, you know, we just want to see no, what went Not on. just but, film it. But you have film to distribute it, it right? And <laughs> distribute it. Right. Oh, boy.
Yeah. yeah. So some of the other interesting cases or threats of cases of eminent domain that Forbes reports on, aside from and actually before the situation with the Baltimore slash Indianapolis Colts in 1980, the city of Oakland, California filed an eminent domain action to take the Oakland Raiders in order to prevent the team from moving to Los Angeles. What is with these people's obsession with sports teams and thinking that eminent Revenue. domain is... Well, yeah, yeah, certainly. Revenue. Okay, economy, that makes right. sense. Yeah. Because in California, as in a lot of places, not, not only do you have the state income tax... But you have local occupational taxes. Right. You have local mills and lodging taxes. Mm -hmm. You have all of these other taxes. And when you've got a football team that brings in 80,000 people per week to watch a game, which granted you only have like eight home games a year, Mm. but still do the math, 80,000 times eight, you're getting a portion of all of the tickets from people going to the game you're getting a portion of all of the money spent on the overpriced beer and hot dogs <laughs> because of sales tax i forget what the sales tax is in california but it's pretty ridiculous even anything in over Birmingham, zero Alabama, is ridiculous 11 percent. that's crazy 11 percent wow. what, once you add the state sales tax the county sales tax, and then the city sales tax, mm. it's 11%. You, you wow. know, this has got me thinking a really crazy thought, Daryl, and that is, is entertainment and, uh, and say, sports, are they part of, the, are they the health of the state? Uh, <laughs> possibly. <laughs> but, you know, it is entertainment, and I'm guilty. I, I know that there's a lot of libertarians that say, oh, like, hate sports. You, know, yeah. you can't watch football. Yeah. That's a slave sport. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's, you sheeple. That, that, that's how they keep you a slave. But then these people will go and watch some you know ridiculous movie or play yep. video games for long amounts of hours. Yeah. Just because I entertain myself differently doesn't make me any more of a slave than anybody else. <laughs> <laughs> more on Free Talk Live. Everybody wants to know, what can you buy with Bitcoins? Isn't there like a Bitcoin general store or something? Well, yes, now there is, and it's at BitcoinGeneralStore.com. BitBrew and the Bees Brothers have teamed up to create a place where U.S. customers in the lower 48 can shop for, well, anything, with free shipping. What can you find at BitcoinGeneralStore.com? Bitcoin apparel, stickers, gifts, precious metals, physical bitcoins, coffee and honey, of course, and electronics and computer accessories. The folks at Bitcoin General Store are true Bitcoin believers who don't even use third-party payment processors. They get their inventory direct with Bitcoin and pass on the savings to you. Shop at BitcoinGeneralStore.com with confidence that you are supporting a real Bitcoin economy. you got to see what they have to offer. Visit BitcoinGeneralStore.com today. That's BitcoinGeneralStore.com. Hey everyone, have you heard about the no-no hair removal device that's sweeping the globe? If you want to go weeks without shaving and get smooth, professional quality results, here's our favorite host, Cheryl, for no-no hair removal. Thanks. Hey gals, I love talking about my no-no. It's this cute little hair removal system that you can take with you and use almost anywhere at home or on the road. No more expensive in-office treatments, painful waxing, and no more wasting your valuable time. Got unwanted facial hair? No-no hair has patented Thermacon technology that works on all hair and skin colors. So it's perfect for using on all body parts. And now you can take advantage of this incredible risk-free trial. Get the no-no, the facial kit, a travel case, and a $100 discount shopping card. And you don't risk a penny to try it. Try the incredible no-no hair completely risk-free. Call 1-800-953-6062. That's 800-953-6062. 800-953-6062. 
Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. I'm Mark Stevens of the No State Project, and are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you're only helping the government. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available right now. Learn it, use it, spread it. So get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. In studio tonight, it's Daryl and Brian and Stephanie. And you can call in, take control of the airwaves, talk about whatever you want. The Pro XPN toll free call in line is 855 450 3733. That's 855 450 free. And to the phones and the fun, Fred in California. Wants to talk about property and eminent domain. Fred, you're on the air. What's on your mind? All right, I got the stick. First, thanks for taking my call. Second, thanks for what you guys are doing. And third, anybody out there that's listening, please donate to this program. Um, oh, that's yeah, nice. Thank you. Welcome. Uh, what you guys do, I, I'm very sincere about this. Talk show format is very important to get back what we've been losing. But... Anyhow, uh, eminent domain, it's very powerful, uh, especially when it, with property rights. And I think what you're seeing is reality and changing times. Um, I'm kind of a sports guy, and I've noticed, you know, there used to be a time where sports franchises were asking cities tax money to build this, in, this facility right. where they charge a $20 hot dogs, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, especially for a, a film studio to get involved. Um, but but the city to use eminent domain to keep uh, franchises from moving is really kind of indicative of how uh, the, the dire straits that our economy is, is going through right now. Um, I've noticed fewer and fewer people in attendance on TV when I watch some of like the baseball games or football games. Um, I was just watching the uh, opener with the uh, Padres, and uh, geez, opening day, I'd say there's 30 to 40 percent seats were empty. Wow. So uh, the ticket prices have gone way up, too, haven't they? Ticket prices go up, the player salaries go way up. Mm. And what, not to mention, yeah. like, parking and, like, you sometimes get searched when you go into stadiums, right? right. Don't they have so, a TSA kind of shaking people down? Uh, not necessarily TSA, but something TSA-style where 
They will look through your bags yeah. before you go in. Make sure you don't have weapons, knives. You you can't bring in your own, you know, big gulp. So the the uh, well, that's a like, matter of national one security. One drink I mean. that I have here <laughs> that I've been sipping on, they would not let me take that into the stadium. Well, it's for your own good. No, no, it's to protect the. <laughs> I, I've actually had them tell me, like, no, you can't bring a drink because. You, you've got to purchase if you want to drink. You've got to purchase from our vendors. Yeah, wow. Just like that's why Crazy. you aren't allowed to take your own juju bees into the movie theater right. because you got, got to protect our uh, vending guy over here. But Fred, absolutely. You know, um, I'm I'm just down the street. I'm in, in Santa Cruz, but the Niners are um, they're opening their new stadium for this upcoming football season, and they've come out with a whole list of thirty new rule and basically you know i i don't know it's 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 getting carried away but i think what you're seeing now is that the sports entertainment business together with the film industry but let's let's tune in on sports um they're starting to feel the depression we're in right now because uh unemployment right now is actually at 25 to 23 percent there are 260,000 graduates with degrees that are making below minimum wage right now. Oh, yeah. And uh, and the effect is showing. Um, take a look at uh, the next, pit- the next uh, Pittsburgh football game and look at all the empty seats along the 50-yard line. It's incredible. But um, getting yeah, I- back to eminent domain. I, but before you uh, go back to the eminent domain, I just want to point out that you did mention sports entertainment, and I th- I, I'm fairly certain that you were meaning like sports and entertainment, but it made me think about the WWE, what used to be the WWF before they got sued by the World Wildlife Foundation, and <laughs> they have actually gone to this new model of providing their own content, streaming it online for like $10 yeah. a month, and you get all of the pay-per-views. So if you were a big fan of WWE and you just wanted to buy a single pay-per-view, the big one is coming yeah. up Sunday. I had planned on watching it, but I'm going to actually be on this show instead. Uh, but if I wanted to purchase WrestleMania as a standalone pay-per-view, that would be either fifty or sixty dollars, depending on the cable provider and fees getting added on to it. But the, You're spot the on. WWE, they've got this network for ten dollars a month, and it gives you <laughs> all of the pay-per-views. So they've got to compete. Plus, it Absolutely. gives you access to the entire library that they have. So I think that. You know, professional football and professional baseball, they would be very smart to rethink how they make their money. And instead of saying, all right, $50 for a ticket, $20 for a hot dog, or more whatever like the price of a hot dog for a is, ticket. <laughs> you know, you're, you're looking, well, I- if you take a family of four, you're looking at dropping somewhere near $1,000 to take a family of four to a football game. It's absolutely ludicrous, whereas you could instead yeah. spend less or stay at home and watch the game on like a, you know, pay for just to be able to stream the NFL network or Probably all see of it Major League too. Baseball. <laughs> and that's the biggest challenge that's confronting these football franchises right now is because I can sit down. I used to shoot professionally on the sideline. But baseball and football. These do the Raiders, the Niners, and, and everything. And um, if I had a choice, I'd rather watch it on my, you know, 63-inch TV and get the whole program and have my friends with me. And that is the biggest challenge facing professional sports today. And what you've been talking about, like eminent domain and getting taxpayers' money, is basically a Republican and Democrat form of making money. One wants to tax the other side. The Republican side wants loopholes, okay? And it's all the same thing. It's, um, what I'm saying is, is, is that this depression we're in 
is making its way into the entertainment field. And the TV set is the biggest challenge that they've got going right now, and they know it. So anyway, thanks for taking my call. You guys are doing great. And again, please donate out there because these people don't make that much money. And Thank they you. do a lot of work. <laughs> Thank you very much. There's Fred. a very understanding fellow. Right and said, Fred. <laughs> what, one place that you can donate is to the AMP program. That's Advertise, Market, and Promote, amp.freetalklive.com. And there's actually a couple of matching things going on. So your $5 a month becomes $10 per month. Your $10 becomes 20 You can, you know, of course, make a one-time donation there as well. There's a Bitcoin tip jar. And you can find that again at amp.freetalklive.com. So I want to thank Fred for the free plug, which I guess <laughs> I guess they're all free plugs yeah. since we're promoting ourselves. But, I, but I'm it's glad nice that, when we don't have to. <laughs> right. I, I'm glad that Fred did mention that for us. Yeah. And, you know, he's absolutely right. I mean, every industry is feeling the weak economy now because even uh, the one industry that a lot of people thought was completely untouchable, it's always going to make a billion a year, was the video game industry. And in the past five years, it's been tanking like there's no tomorrow. Wow. Uh, I mean, Why do you think that is? I don't know because, you know, the odd part is, is the best the best games ever are coming out now. And in fact, there's more of them than there's ever been. So, you know, mm. some people say it's over saturation of the market, but I don't think that's it. I think it's just that this atrocious economy is is hurting people. Uh, and it's the same deal. Where, like you say, our WWE is only charging 10 a month. You know, I think games have to go to a subscription service because they're still charging $60 a game. And the odd part is, is that price hasn't changed in 40 years. You know, so uh, yeah, I remember when I was a kid wanting to get uh, the Legend of Zelda. Yeah, and it was like a forty or fifty dollar game. Yeah, absolutely. And that was but that was twenty m- some odd years ago, nineteen eighty seven. That was more like worth more money back then because of inflation. Yes. Yeah. But, you know, the price point hasn't changed. Well, what, what Brian said, like the price itself hasn't changed. Yeah. It's become a lot cheaper for them to produce the games. Oh yeah. They're, yeah. they're putting them on. CDs now, or even you can just download them now, and they still charge the premium price. Mm, they're they're yeah. gonna, they're feeling it. The economy's hurting them. Yeah, so you can call in in hour number two. Talk about the economy. When do you think people are going to realize that we actually are still in a recession slash depression? Eight fifty five. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in twenty thirteen and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at freeross.org. That's freeross.org. Meowbit is free software from the Freedom Fiends that allows you to effortlessly view .bit websites. Meowbit works on all browsers. .bit is a new type of web address that's not controlled by any government or corporation. And we'll show you how to register a .bit domain today using a few cents worth of name coin. If anyone ever shuts down your .com website, users will still be able to get to your site using your .bit address and our free software, Meowbit. Go to meowbit.com. That's M-E-O-W-B-I-T dot com. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. 
You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Friday, April 4th, 2014. Silver is trading at $19.96 per ounce. Gold is worth $1,294 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $453. Antiwar.com reports, Representatives Walter Jones and Adam Schiff have co-sponsored a new bill, the Targeted Lethal Force Transparency Act, which aims to require the Obama administration to issue annual reports on the use of drone strikes, including a figure on how many civilians they killed in those attacks. Though President Obama has repeatedly promised overhauls and transparency measures on the drone programs, Congress remains more or less in the dark about who is being killed and why, with Representative Jones saying this move would be the first step towards serious oversight of the drone program. Representative Schiff noted that the drone strikes are only classified because the president makes them so, and insisted the reports from the bill would not require any identification of who is doing the drone strikes or any specifics on individual incidents, but rather just seeks raw counts of who was killed every year. The bill also explicitly rules out drone strikes used in ongoing wars, so the administration would not need to include drone strikes in Afghanistan, just those nations in which the United States is not engaged in official military operations. When you purchase gold or silver from Amagi Metals using my affiliate link, gold.fppradio.com, you help fund FPP Radio News. That's gold.fppradio.com. Tech Dirt reports, at the bottom of a Mother Jones article covering Behind Closed Doors Talks by former Vice President Dick Cheney, in which he talked up the idea of bombing Iran and whined that President Obama was too weak in the Middle East, the authors mentioned that actually much of his speech was devoted to defending the NSA. Apparently, he did that by flat-out lying. There is the belief, he said, that we have created in the National Security Agency this monster bureaucracy that's reading everybody's emails, listening to everybody's phone calls, infringing upon civil liberties and civil rights. He claimed that there has not been a single case of NSA abusing its authority. TechDirt adds, I don't know about how Dick Cheney defines abuse their authority, but it seems like there's fairly strong evidence of pretty widespread abuse much of it taking place while Cheney was in power. Of course, since his definition of abuse seems to be doing something that Dick Cheney personally doesn't like, then I guess he'd be correct. But given the rather clear and flat-out admitted cases of abuse, combined with significant claims that the entire program is abusive, it would appear that Cheney is simply lying. $6 Shirts is one of the top t-shirt companies on the web, and they want to be the t-shirt company for the Bitcoin marketplace. They actually give priority to all Bitcoin orders. Shop $6 Shirts using my affiliate link, 6.fppradio.com, and help support FPP Radio News. The Associated Press reports on a secret plan by the U.S. government to build a social media project aimed at undermining Cuba's communist government. According to documents obtained by the AP and multiple interviews with people involved in the project, the plan was to develop a bare-bones Cuban Twitter using cell phone text messaging to evade Cuba's strict control of information and its stranglehold restrictions over the internet. Documents show the U.S. government planned to build a subscriber base through non-controversial content, news messages on soccer, music, and hurricane updates. When the network reached a critical mass of subscribers, perhaps hundreds of thousands, operators would introduce political content aimed at inspiring Cubans to organize smart mobs, mass gatherings called at a moment's notice that might trigger a Cuban spring, or as one USA document put it, re- negotiate the balance of power between the state and society. 
Senator Patrick Leahy, chairman of the Senate Appropriations Subcommittee, which oversees spending by U.S. aid, said, If you're going to do a covert operation like this for a regime change, assuming it ever makes any sense, it's not something that should be done through U.S. aid. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. It's the Onion Radio News. An area man doesn't know what to do with all the extra ketchup packets. This is Doyle Redland reporting. After finishing his Big Bacon Classic combo, Erie, Pennsylvania resident and Wendy's patron Don Turnby, 38, expressed uncertainty today regarding what to do with all the extra ketchup packets. Turnby had asked for extra ketchup upon placing his order for a ketchup necessitating Biggie fries. Well, I knew it was too many ketchups because I usually only need three or four for my biggie fries, but I just took them anyway. At his nearby home, the Turnby Pantry is crammed with hundreds of other restaurant condiments, including single-serving packets of Taco Bell mild sauce, Arby's horsey sauce, soy sauce, McDonald's chicken McNuggets hot mustard sauce, pats of shed spread country crock from Ponderosa Steakhouse, and a selection of Smucker's jellies and jams from several area diners. Royal Redland for The Onion Radio News, online at theonion.com. This is Free Talk Live. Kicking off our number two in studio tonight, it's Daryl. And Brian. And Mark. And, I mean, Stephanie. (laughs) (laughs) You keep doing that. It was funny the first time. Okay, I'll stop. And it was funny the fourth and fifth time (laughs) as well. But wow, you are fearless, confusing Darryl. the people that don't normally hear Mark on Friday, so they, they don't get the joke. Oh, you know, I didn't even think of that. Okay. Well, I, this is Stephanie, and uh, apparently I'm not so funny. <laughs> no, you're you're still funny. But maybe somebody named Mark will actually call in to the show to talk about something, because you, our listeners, can call in and talk about whatever you like. The toll-free call-in line, the ProXPN toll-free call-in line is 855-450-3733. That's 855-450-FREE. And Brian, you have a fairly interesting story that I am certain will get people to call in to the show tonight. I like to bring in things that are titillating, to to say the least. Uh, which one would you like to hear about, though? The 365 days. Okay, so <laughs> this is uh, from the Huffington Post, uh, and it's from Brittany Gibbons, and it's what happened when I had sex every day for a year. And uh, yeah, this is this is pretty. I mean, she she made she, this is an experiment. Now she this is and before you get into the article, let's just give a fair warning that you know that there's nothing graphic, obviously, that's going to be shared. But people with children might not want their kids hearing this so fair warning fair yeah fair warning uh if you hear my voice fair warning uh, no yeah, <laughs> pretty much brian's not safe for work yeah <laughs> uh so i again this is uh, from a woman now you, okay sometimes you hear about people going on diets or taking a challenge or maybe you know like giving something up for lent or something like that they take a pledge to do something every day for some period of time but you don't usually hear about this you know like pledging to do something fun every day yeah, for well, a year. instead fun. of give something up or restrict you know, something well, you know some people have an easier time you know with certain achieving this goal uh, yeah. achieving <laughs> certain goals you'd, sure. i imagine you'd have to have a, somebody to help you with that right unless she's counting solo sessions well let's her. uh let's, yeah, let's read I'm curious on. let's go uh This is, of course, Brittany. I just had sex every day for a year, and I didn't tell you about it. But I did videotape it, so check it out here. Just kidding. There's there's no link to it. (laughs) (laughs) I wasn't even sure I was going to go into it, but here we are. Um, and Pat's the empty space on the couch. Anyway, this is a very animated article. Uh, it was the email that never made the emails, mostly because it was the kind of truth that uh, stung a little too much. 
And uh, here's there's kind of an email exchange uh, from a guy named Andy to her. Hey, could you list five things you love about my body? Uh, and she said, butt, hair, face, lips, cleavage. And uh, or that that's what uh, what Andy sent to Brittany. And then Brittany responded, whoa, slow down, Casanova. I'm about to end up pregnant. Don't get so descriptive. And then the response is, uh, <laughs> well, to be honest, I haven't seen you totally naked in years. And she says, well, crap. Uh, the fact is I am horrible at intimacy. I come from a family of non-huggers and I sometimes hate my body. So yeah, a recipe for Temple Grandin hug machine. My husband is gorgeous and very, very sexy, but the issues we are, were having in the sack were all me. I could not shut my insecurity off and sex quickly became a really anxiety inducing experience that went one of two ways. One, I avoided it because it was hot and stressful, hiding my body under two comforters and a snowsuit in the dark and instead ran a diversion play. I have cramps. I have too many deadlines. Gigi is too scared to sleep alone. Let's bring her in the bed with us. Uh, yeah, I used a four-year-old as the most adorable um, penis block ever. <laughs> You can't be. I, I'm. I'm paraphrasing some of this. <laughs> no, I, I'm starting to think that this might actually be my ex-wife. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I was just thinking as you were reading this, Brian. It's too bad because a lot of people do this. You know, like they get into relationships, and at the beginning of the relationship, the way that they convey their attitude about sex is totally different than what happens once they get comfortable and they feel Two, like three years in. Yeah, like then they feel like they their partner is not going to leave them at that point. So then the truth kind of comes out and you know, it's not only women who do this, men sometimes do it too. Sure. And then people, and then you end up with a partnership, like perhaps a marriage or perhaps there's kids involved where there's two people who have really mismatched um, desires for sex. And that's a big problem because relationships, I mean, if you're not having sex, then what are you just friends, you know, good part housemates, roommates, something like that. Right. So she's describing the two ways in which she would kind of try and get out of it. One of them was, you know, to, to essentially, like she admitted, use her kid as an excuse. Wow. And here's a second reason, which is I tried to explain to him why I was self-conscious. And then he asked why him telling me how pretty I was wasn't enough for me to get over it. And I felt like a horrible, horrible butthole. Um, so after a lot of crying and shrimp curry, I came up with a plan to have sex every day for a year, barring any medical problems or logistical issues. And he seemed to be pretty okay with it, which, yeah, you'd think he would. So uh, she, she had a committed partner. Yes. It, it seems like. So this wasn't someone just, all right, I'm going to, you know, like find 365 random guys. Right. And hey, have baby, one a day, you or like you know, <laughs> fifty-two guys, one a week, whatever. So <laughs> yeah, not, not there, there was one committed partner. Right. Not to say if you weren't married, you couldn't like you know, I mean, you could be Theodora from the Byzantine Empire and have nine hundred. You know, <laughs> she did that in one day or yeah, something. Yeah, right. Anyway. But <laughs> I, I, I'm just trying to you know clarify yes. that way some of the more conservative listeners. Don't call in with the, you know, yeah, what you is can't she doing? Do that <laughs> yeah. sort of thing. Right. Uh, so I wish it, I could say, or I wish it could say it was a profound decision, but the truth is, I was getting worried he was losing interest because I acted uninterested out of insecurity, and he was getting nervous about me saying things like, how awesome do separate bedrooms sound? Now you know this is this is concerning. Okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because like I certainly you know it's okay insecurities that you have with yourself those are uh, I think forced on you by society. You know, like they're telling there's there's these conventional ideas of what beauty is, yes. which are very very unfortunate. But at the same time, I don't like the idea of a person, man or woman, doing doing something out of like sacrifice. You, right. you know what I mean? And that's yeah. kind of what this sounds I was like. All, okay, I was I'll all... take one for the team. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. I was all for it until she said the thing about like, well, I only did this because I'm worried that my husband might leave me. Yeah, that's, exactly. That's just sad. I mean, like, it sounds like there's a bunch of issues. One is that she tried to kind of express that she was feeling really insecure to her husband and he didn't really know how to help with that except to say, well, I think you're pretty. Yeah, but, I mean, like, he wasn't empathizing like, with her well, at all. He, here's the thing. If, Stephanie, if you told uh, Brian one day, like, I don't really feel that pretty today. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that Brian could tell you that would actually make you feel pretty? 
Hmm. Uh, I I think I have said that actually in the past. Yes. And yeah. Um, yeah. Like if you're in enough of a funk mm-hmm. to where you're like, you know, I don't feel like being alive today. Then well, there's nothing that anybody really can that. say. <laughs> I, I know that I'm yeah. going on an extreme. Yeah, no, sometimes but, it's know, true because it's coming. If you're in enough coming... of a funk, there's nothing that anybody can say that's going to cheer you up. Sometimes you do feel that way. And like, I think when that's happened to me in the past, like what helps is, you know, to get some exercise or just, you know, do something nice for yourself and then you start to feel better. Um, but like, if you don't have sort of a basic level of self-acceptance to begin with then sometimes that is more likely to happen where you have those days where you just feel like so gross that goes back to what brian was saying about that's something that society pretty much you know forces upon people Mm -hmm. that don't fit in exactly into the square hole or the round hole Mm. or the little star shaped or the triangle or what whatever Whatever hole it is that you're trying to fit into. What hole am I trying to fit into? I'm confused. I heard tentacles. (laughs) If you don't fit in the way society wants you to, that messes with your brain. Indeed. Call in 855-450-FREE. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact i believe like i said uh, a lot of where i am now is due to listening to free talk live you changed my mind on some very important issues years ago to random people tuning in on the radio i was kind of stuck in the left right paradigm i heard your show by chance on a saturday night from there i went on joined the free state project and become an amplifier so i mean that's really the reason why i amp is uh because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. Gold. It's like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the reemergence of gold as the common-sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-2237 for the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As Good As Gold can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800-686-2237. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. Immigrating to the Shire was easy. I was instantly plugged into a community of individuals who also care about peace, liberty, and justice and are willing to do something about it. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. 
So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Are you looking for camping, hunting, survival, or shooting gear? ManVentureOutpost.com carries the name brands you want at the lowest prices. Ammunition, knives, firearm accessories, archery, air guns, scopes, binoculars, laser sights, tactical flashlights, fish finders, and boating equipment. ManVentureOutpost.com is family owned and has the lowest prices. Go check it for yourself. Get it quick. Get it from ManVentureOutpost.com. Now buy firearms at ManVentureOutpost.com. This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live. Call in, talk about whatever you want. Brian is sharing an article, not from his personal experience, no. but an article from Huffington Post. That's because by, we just don't write about it. Written by <laughs> a uh, woman. I, I'm not sure of the age. I'm guessing you know she's probably not an older lady. No, she looks middle. I mean, like 30s, maybe. So, you know, a youngish woman. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she has written about what happened when she decided to have sex with her partner every day for one full year. Not and that I couldn't talk about this from experience, but I, you know, I'm, we're just reading from the story. We'll, we'll get back to that <laughs> momentarily, but first, yeah, uh, I want to tell you about. Uh, Ross Albrecht. And if you don't know about Russ Albrecht, please, I want you to go to freeross.org. This is a guy, I mean, you know, he's accused of being allegedly the Dread Pirate Roberts, who is behind the Silk Road, which is uh, a Bitcoin marketplace. I don't even, you know, black market, gray market, white market, whatever. None of that matters. The free market. Is, this is, yeah, it was a truly free market that was existing on the internet, and the government didn't like it. Uh, it was run on Bitcoin. The government couldn't get their cut, and so they wanted it to go down, and they went after somebody. And there is very little evidence either way to prove that he is or isn't, okay? But this guy's in jail right now. And ridiculously, especially considering that the IRS has recently claimed he, he's in jail for money laundering as well, amongst many other charges. Supposedly money laundering. Supposedly money laundering. Of and a thing that they said is not money. Right. Over Bitcoin, which the IRS claims is property, not currency. So this charge should not be sticking. If you want to help out with getting this guy out of jail who has no business in being there, whether he's DPR or not, go to free, freeross.org. Uh, and please, I mean, he really needs your support. He is either a hero or a political prisoner. Right. Which makes him a hero. I, kind of either way, right? He's, Certainly. Yeah. <laughs> so. FreeRoss.org. And uh, one of my friends who runs ShinyBadges.com has actually come out with a 3D Silk Road logo pin. And he's donating funds from all of the purchases of that pin to freeross.org. Absolutely. Oh, wow. There's a, a lot of these people that that really they need your support uh in freeross.org. So, Brian, let's go back to the article. Yes. And it, it seems as though we we might need to catch some people up who may not have heard the beginning of the article. And one thing that Stephanie pointed out, it seems as though aside from having some issues of self-doubt and insecurities insecurities there may have also been some relationship problems yeah or at least concerns this is like a proactive attempt against right. possibly her husband i, I, I her. think my husband might leave me so i'm going to do this thing to make him happy every day right 
You know, and that brings up an interesting point. I mean, who doesn't have security insecurities, first of all, right? Like, I think we all do. Even the most beautiful people sometimes feel like they are not very pretty or sure. they don't like the way that they look. Um, so just wanted to give her a little bit of uh, compassion there because I understand. Um, but what if we uncouple, like, what if we thought about, just for a minute as a thought experiment, the idea of what if one person didn't have to meet all of the needs that you might have in the romantic realm. Um, like what if you could have friends that you did certain activities with and other friends that maybe you had sex with and other friends that you had deep conversations hold with on, or whatever. On. It seems as though you want humans to just become Bonobos. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> that might not or, or, be or cuttlefish. such a bad thing. <laughs> but I, I'm just saying, I think that there is a idea in culture where we are told from a really young age that especially girls are told that like, Someday you're going to meet your Prince Charming and or you're going to meet the person that completes you as though you're not complete already. Uh, and and this is going to be one person that meets your every need and they're going to be the one and you'll know it because they'll be perfect. And that is just not so. And you figure that out when you actually get into the real world and you start yeah. dating is that there is no perfect Prince Charming or Princess Charming. And, you know, some people are more compatible with you than others, but there's a range of compatible people. And there's not just one person for everybody. <laughs> no, you know, in fact, I think it's absolutely impossible, uh, especially for a woman, to experience the entire human experience, uh, in my opinion, just by being with a man. Now, I mean, a person has different goals in life, you know what I mean? But uh, my point being is that a man cannot make love to a woman like a woman can make love to a woman. <laughs> I mean, I could be wrong. Maybe there's that Casanova out there that can pull it you, off. You just okay. angered 70% of our listener base. I, I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean, you, you. I've been in the room. I've seen it. And it will change your life when you see two <laughs> women you know, doing what they do with each other. And, and you can't, I can't compare to that. I can't, and I have no jealousy over the matter because I can't deliver those kind of goods, you know? And so I'm just saying, if you it's want the different. total- There are great things about men too. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, it's no, no, it's no. just but different. That's, but that's know? my point is that the, to get the entire human experience, believe me, you know, I mean, that that's just, a guy can't deliver that. So to say that, well, <laughs> I can give her everything she needs. No, maybe you can't because maybe she likes that soft love you know, that only another woman really, oh I, I, as far as I can see, can deliver. So just, just <laughs> or, putting that out or there. Or maybe she likes to play tennis and you don't. And you're, you know, you're very yeah. compatible in every other way, but you just don't like. Yeah, you're individuals. You right. Know? And so why shouldn't she be able to play tennis with somebody else? Right? Absolutely. Uh, should or I go he... on with the article? <laughs> I, I would, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Daryl. <laughs> so uh, Brittany goes on here. We figured if we focused on intimacy, eventually it'd rekindle all the things we spent uh, seven, seven-ish post-birth years backburnering out of sheer exhaustion and raging insecurity. This is the same. Oh, wow. Yeah. This There's is... another thing. It happens to a lot of people. When the kids when come into play? they kids, they, their relationship isn't first priority anymore, and sometimes... It can suffer. Well, you know, I'm open to stopping right there, it's too. It's stress on it, the relationship sometimes. The, the amount of attention I think that a child needs to, to grow, you know, healthily, uh, I, I think, yeah, a sex life can be a very difficult thing to continue. Uh, I mean, especially in a kid's very, very young years. I mean, you know, you want the kid to, to have some degree of autonomy, you know, and explore the world like humans are designed to do. But at the same time... Um, you know, you really, again, in the very, very early years, there is so much attention that, that the child deserves. And you as deciding to bring a child into the world, I think kind of owe to them um, that, uh, you know, yeah, sex, it backburners. I think it almost ha I think it almost has to. That's just an opinion. I'm not saying that's a fact of life. It kind of makes sense. I mean, your body does have sort of hormonal mechanisms like after having a kid. Sure. That, you know, you need to focus on the kid that you have, not be making more of those. And so your sex drive kind of tanks a little bit. So do you think that from a doctor's perspective, do you think <laughs> that that might be some sort of biological thing indicating that humans are not supposed to be monogamous? 
<laughs> oh, you asked me right before the break. Yes. <laughs> this is Free Talk Live. You've been lied to. Lied to by Washington politicians and the Wall Street propaganda machine. My name is Brett Kitchen, best-selling author, and I want to give you free access to my new DVD set, The Millionaire Black Box. Because after losing 35% in my IRA in the crash years ago, I said enough. And since then, I've filmed interviews with dozens of millionaires across the country. I was shocked to discover they don't use mutual funds or worry about stock market crashes. They make double digits in good years and bad. Call now to get this DVD where millionaires reveal five specific wealth strategies like private lending contracts, how to use your IRAs or cash in the bank to make potential double digits each year, tax-free retirement income using the biggest benefits left in the tax code, and how to beat inflation with two strategies you'll never hear from Wall Street. Call 1-800-324-3030 to get free access to the Millionaire Black Box videos and learn the secrets the ultra-rich use to grow your money and protect your wealth. Plus, the next 47 callers get a free copy of my best-selling book, Safe Money Millionaire. Just cover shipping and handling. Call 800-324-3030. Again, that's 1-800-324-3030. 1-800-324-3030. Hi, I'm Derek J. I don't want a politician to represent me. To me, government is the idea that one group of people can coerce everyone to comply with an edict or face increasing punishments up to and including death. Despite perhaps the most noble of intentions, the best government services are a far cry from what could be provided for by voluntary interactions. Besides, the people who call themselves the government wage wars and put peaceful people in jail for crimes involving no victims. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. So why would I support the American empire? The empire does not require my consent. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. MindThings.com is a fun online game that pits you against people around the world to mine for scarce resources. Do business in a capitalist economy with virtually mined gold, tax-free. It doesn't require a big-time commitment. Your little mining robot guy works whether you're logged in or not. It costs nothing to play, but you can buy bonuses. They even accept bitcoins. Go to MindThings.com, use coupon code FTL, and double your mining speed. It's free. MindThings.com. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. There is no such thing as attention span, according to Jerry Seinfeld, who figures that people have an infinite attention span if you are entertaining them. Hey, he's kept us from channel surfing for several decades, and now he's making more millions as a Las Vegas headliner. With money and attention so scarce now, effective communication skills have never been more important, especially if you're looking for work. So choose every single word as though it was the last word the person you're speaking to will hear. Otherwise, it might be. Avoid redundancies such as added bonus, advance warning, end result, prior history, or personal belongings. And avoid cliches like the plague. Just kidding. For more tips, hit survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. Stephanie, did I scare you? You jumped when I did the intro. No, I just had one of those chills, you know? Sometimes you get a chill going up your spine. Caused by Daryl's voice. (laughs) It happens (laughs) to the best of them. (laughs) Stephanie in studio tonight. It is Daryl. And Brian without Daryl's melodious voice. (laughs) And Stephanie. (laughs) Yeah, um, 
you know, you can call in, of course, 855-450-3733 with your thoughts on this very controversial topic known as sex. Um, <laughs> but uh, what is, those are the ProXPN toll-free call-in lines. And what is ProXPN? Well, ProXPN is a VPN service, and that's a virtual private network. And let me tell you, if you care about your privacy, and I don't just mean your online privacy. Of course, that's what this encrypts. But if you care and care about your privacy in general, because your online world is ju- is becoming just as important as your meat space world, okay? We have to face the facts. You mm. want ProXPN, okay? I want you to go to ProXPN.com slash FTL, and I want you to try it out. You can try it out for free, but believe me, you want to pay for this, and it's cheaper than a cup of coffee a month, okay? Especially if you go with their premium plan, or if you use Bitcoin. Yes, they take Bitcoin. This is a company that believes in freedom. They're offering you a VPN service that has servers around the world. You can use it wherever you go, and it's going to encrypt everything that you do on your computer. Everything that goes online goes through ProXPN. ProXPN does not keep the logs. And if some guys in suits walk up to ProXPN and say, hey, give us this information, they're going to tell them to take a hike. Trust me, they've already done it. Okay. Who's Brian? What's that? Who's Brian? Who's Brian? No, no. That, that's what they would say. Oh, right. Yeah, exactly. They would say, who's Brian? I mean, what are you talking about? We, we, we don't know any guy named Brian. Everything's encrypted. We, right. we see nothing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we know nothing. Trust me. These guys, they believe in freedom as much as Free Talk Live does, and we're so glad to have them on board with us. It's cool to see how you know principled they are as a company, because not many businesses are, actually. Yeah, seriously. So I want you to go to ProXPN.com. I want you to try it out. Use the code FTL20. You can get 20% off the lifetime of your account. Okay, the lifetime of your account. Not after a year you lose your your 20% discount. You're going to get it for the lifetime of the account. Give it a shot. ProXPN.com. And I absolutely love ProXPN. I'm running Linux, so the setup is a little different. The interface is different. Yeah. So, So some of the functionalities you lose on Linux, but otherwise it is great. And it's a tremendous service, and I recommend it. Yeah, absolutely. And it is available on everything, including Linux. Uh, I mean, you know, iOS, Android. It works on your phone, tablets, you know, the, the, the whole business. You can have like 10 devices on one account, right? Something like that. Uh, yeah, it works for every device. I don't think there's a limit. Oh, it cool. works uh, all uh, of your devices. <laughs> all of your devices, and you know, you, you can, just can't run all of the devices at the same time. Well, I don't think you can be on the server, the same server at the same time. I think that's the limitation. Okay. Yeah. So pretty much, you know, you can you can use it anywhere, anytime. This is, in my opinion, Golden Stallion of the tech world. This is the best uh, VPN service out there. So give it a shot. And I, I'm sure that on Sovereign Tech, you have a full episode about the benefits of VPN. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you can go to SovereignTech.com, S-O-V-R-Y-N Tech. And I talk a lot about security, you know, privacy issues. And uh, ProXPN is always, you know, I get asked a lot, what's the best VPN out there? And I, I tell people, ProXPN, they take Bitcoin. I mean, it can be as anonymous as you want. And we, we've sort of been talking about security not necessarily internet security, but more emotional security. That we have. <laughs> and nice. More in context a great of segue. within a relationship, a committed relationship, and one woman's quest to have sex with her partner every day in a calendar year. Right, and it sounds like it's her attempt to get over her insecurities and also, unfortunately... Save the relationship. Save, yeah, save the relationship. Um, so I'll read on here, and this is... Uh, Brittany is the name of the woman that wrote this up. Uh, she says, Now, I can't speak for Andy, that's her partner, except to say he had a really good time. <laughs> of course he did. <laughs> but, but for me, a year of sex became less about getting my sex on and more about getting my brain to stop being uh, a butthole when I took all my clothes off, you know, meaning getting over her insecurities. Right, right. Mm. Uh, it started off pretty rough. I felt like I was always preparing for sex. Uh, <laughs> whores bath and sink shaving badge number five unlocked. Uh, she's like joking about an achievement achieved okay. like with, uh, okay. with video games, right? Um, it got to that. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> anyway, it got to the end of the day, and as I hunched over the sink washing my face, uh, praying for cold sheets and sleep, I'd realize I still had the whole lovemaking thing to do, and it was like awesome, another daily chore. So it 
sounds as though it became a task for her. Well, yeah. but let's read on the next paragraph here. But then it stopped being a chore uh, and became the moment of the day where I was most at peace, where I could have an actual conversation with my husband and know he was listening to me and not secretly <laughs> watching television or elbow deep in Lego assembly. I told a few friends and they reacted pretty much the same way. Oh, I could never do that. And I totally get it. But I actually learned about myself a, a lot about myself between the sheets. Now, I've got some issues with some of this being said here, okay? Um, because, like, the whole idea of it being a chore, uh, you know, that, that's usually kind of a, a sign. I mean, maybe she's trying to work that out. But you, if you consider it a chore, I mean, what do you think about that, Stephanie, when people say that sort of thing? Well, there are some things like uh, working out, for instance. I'm always glad after I work out. After I exercise, I feel awesome. But sometimes it's difficult you to get to motivated time. to start the workout. Yes. You, you know, and like, so I have, I actually use Google Calendar to manage my schedule and I schedule a workout every day. And, you know, most days I, I make it <laughs> at least some kind of exercise. But sometimes it's like, you know, I feel like if I didn't have it scheduled in, I might not be as motivated to make time for it. And sometimes I really have to like, drag myself to do it you know <laughs> and to really like kind of you know give myself that extra push now i'll be interested to read on her experience but for me like scheduling sex um kind of takes the fun out of it yeah you know? and to to compare it to a workout it would be akin to a workout if you had a workout partner that said let's go to the gym uh-huh because it, it would be a lot easier to then go to the gym if you had somebody that was there with you urging you to go to the gym. Yeah, that's true. And it always does help like when you have a buddy to kind of keep you accountable to certain things. But I mean, I was going to say about it becoming a task. Yeah, sometimes I schedule my workouts and sometimes I have to like really talk myself into doing them. Um, but is it is it a task? It, sort of sometimes, but is it fun too? Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, it, it, can it be, is sure. So like something could be both a task and still be uh, fun. Yeah, that's a very important to point out. I agree. Yeah, but uh, you said Brian that scheduling sex takes the fun out of it. Sometimes though, it just doesn't happen unless you kind of like schedule in some time, at least like a date or like some time together. And then sometimes you get into the mood right, when and, you wouldn't have well, been before. I know that neither one of you have children. Right. Correct. <laughs> and I used to be married, and I have a son that I have lost contact with, not getting into details of. But when I was still married, towards the end of the relationship, my ex-wife would actually have to get a babysitter for the kid right so that we could then be intimate yeah and it became very much a chore all right daryl you've got 20 minutes Aww, yeah that's kind of sad and yeah so you know it puts a lot of pressure yeah no, I, all right i've and got 20 minutes i i've got to let's you know, make this good, good. <laughs> and that kind of approach doesn't really seem like she really wants it she like it sounds like she's just kind of doing it like because she's checking it off right yeah. yeah so it could be very much what Brittany was doing here right of all right we have to schedule this all right the kids are all in bed i want to go to sleep in 15 minutes let's get this over with yeah so it's more maybe... fun when it's more fun when the partner wants to do it. Yes. <laughs> so to compare it to a workout, yes, a workout if you had a good workout buddy. <laughs> Call in with your thoughts. 855 450 free. I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Camano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact and helping 
helping make a difference in the world. And one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends. To prove just how good it is, we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience. All you do is cover shipping. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. Buzzbox Coffee is organic, so it contains no pesticides or toxins. It's shade grown, so less acidity and no heartburn. It's top 1% Arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms. Join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com. Self-reliance. Survival supplies. Survival skills. National experts. Get it all at the only free-to-attend national event exclusively for preppers. This spring in Tulsa, it's the National Preppers and Survivalist Expo. A must-be-there event. Presented by American Living. This massive expo will include special guests. David Mays from Nat Geo's Doomsday Preppers. Plus, GCN's own Dr. Joel Wallach via live video conference. Hear Dr. Bones, Nurse Amy, and members of the American Pepper Network, along with many other leading national experts. Learn life-saving tips, CPR, how to handle crisis situations, walk through a bomb shelter, and much, much more. Two big days, April 5th and 6th at the Tulsa Expo Square in Tulsa, Oklahoma. That's April 5th and 6th. Doors open at 9 a.m. with absolutely free admission. Don't miss the National Preppers and Survival. Survivalist Expo, America's largest emergency preparedness event. Get your free tickets now. NPSExpo.com. That's NPSExpo.com. Free Talk Live. The DEA doesn't dabble with users. They go after the big dogs. Yeah, and I'm certain they have dabbled with users, and they would if they thought they, they could the get DEA? something. The DEA? They would if they thought they could get somewhere with Maybe it. Maybe a user who's snorting three pounds a, a week, something where they could actually connect to a, a player. Yeah. But most users are just buying from other users. I mean, in the cocaine world, when you are uh, a user, you've got to support your habits somehow. Right. And if you're not willing to go and knock over convenience stores and break into people's cars and hurt people to get the cash for your habit, then the only other choice for you, if you're not wealthy, is to sell cocaine to others. Right. And so most people will go and pick up whatever amount of coke they uh, they do, and then they'll sell to certain specific people who are their friends. Like he was saying, he was selling to his neighbor across the street. The DEA is not going to mess with that. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges start a conversation with your neighbor or your doctor or your family or your school. Now there's teachers and lawyers and business executives and they all wear shiny badges and they all reject the state. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges show the world that you reject coercion and aggression and oppression by the state. Shinybadges.com What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. That is the Pro XPN call in line where you can call in, bring up whatever you want on this live Friday night edition of Free Talk Live in studio tonight. It's Daryl and Brian and Stephanie. And we have listening options for you. We have hundreds of listening options for you. Over 140 radio stations coast to coast, and then some. There's also the uh, KU Band satellite that's the free-to-air. You have no monthly fee. You just have to buy the dish, get started. And then there's also internet, web streams, webcams, and listen lines. You can find all of those options at Listen dot freetalklive.com and we've been talking 
about this woman from, I, I don't know where she's from, but she wrote an article on HuffPo where she said that she decided to have sex with her partner every day for one year. Correct. And this is sort of her uh, journal looking back at the end of, I started out, had this goal, at the beginning, this is how I felt, Right. And now this is how I feel. Right. And so she was saying that that she felt like it was a chore at first, but then eventually it stopped being a chore. Uh, and so she's going to go on here. So I disliked my stomach, my thighs, how I looked laying flat on my back, a myriad of irrational things, really. And I'd have the same conversation with Andy, her partner, about it, telling him I'm self-conscious and I just don't feel sexy. And then he'd spend 10 minutes telling me how gorgeous I am and then another 30 minutes pouting and being hurt that it wasn't enough to make me change my mind. So on top of feeling insecure, I felt like a jerk. That needed to stop. I needed to explain to him that seeing me that way is great, but unless I saw it too, it didn't count. I mean, at least if he expected me to be an active participant and not just a hole laying on the mattress, it took a lot of talking to make him realize that me not feeling sexy was not an attack on him, and him being hurt about it only made me feel worse. I wanted to enjoy sex too, and the key for me being able to enjoy it, feeling confident and gorgeous, and that was... A me journey, not a him journey. Though having a cheerleader on the sidelines was a plus. We that click- might be something to work on, like before you get into a long term relationship, right? Well, and but this, did this happen after the right? This after happened childbirth. after the kid. Oh, oh, yeah. And you know things well, change, and e- even if in the beginning, if she you know felt good about herself, and you know like I'm the most beautiful woman in the world. Then, you know, four years later, people change, things change. You know, maybe she put on 10 pounds. There are some women that are extremely gorgeous and they'll be like, I gained two pounds. I'm a fat, ugly piece of garbage. And it's like, what? Like you could gain 40 pounds and you would still be beautiful. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm pretty sure like... No, if you're into guys, no guy really looks at a woman that thinks she's like a few pounds overweight and says like, oh, she's so fat. No, they're saying like, wow, she's so hot. This is great. You know, <laughs> they're having a great time. Women do, you know. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, it maybe it's something that she may have had some sort of self-esteem problems before she ever got into a relationship. Mm. And it seems as though, and correct me if I'm putting words in your mouth, but it seems as though you said, like, this is something she should have worked on before getting into a relationship, is that if somebody has self-esteem problems, that they shouldn't date? Well, I'm saying if you have such, if you feel insecure and it interferes with your enjoyment of sex, maybe that, and it's coming from you and you can identify that. Maybe that's something that if you worked on it before you got into a relationship, you just wouldn't have to deal with it later and it would make things a lot easier. And I mean, I, I, I know how hard it can be because a lot of times when you have um, insecurities or whatever, you just think that's normal. You think everybody has them. But, well, because you're told that everybody has insecurities. Right. But if it's inhibiting your enjoyment of sex, like that's tragic. Sex is one of the funnest things there is. So, well, and depending on where you come from, you might grow up being told that sex is dirty and evil and you're not supposed to enjoy it. Oh, yeah. Well, totally. That's a big problem. And people think that's normal, too. So, you know, uh, again, does it say where this woman is from? Uh, no, no. She is a regular writer, though, for HuffPo. So I'm guessing Metro, Metropolitan, you know, type person. But it OK, doesn't, but that doesn't, doesn't mean yeah, that it doesn't that's say where she's she from was the born Bible, and raised. Though. Right. You know, it's possible that she grew up in, you know, like the the tea part of Pennsylvania. Right. Which if anybody has ever lived in Pennsylvania, they know what the tea is. There's Sodom and Gomorrah and then the tea. Yeah. Sodom and Gomorrah being Philadelphia and Pittsburgh and everything else is called the tea because it's shaped like a big <laughs> tea. Okay. Yeah. They, they also call it pencil tucky. Because it's the very conservative part of the state. Uh, it's it's know, not like intercourse, it's Pennsylvania. It's more rural. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's where intercourse is. There's yes. A, yeah, okay. <laughs> so, well, you know, this is, I, I want to ask you this, Stephanie. I mean, with, with the insecurity thing, like, I understand where words 
aren't really going to help and where maybe a, a woman or whoever expressing their insecurities just want they want to be heard they want to be empathized with yeah okay but guys kind of have a built-in barometer uh to let you know you know as a woman or you know if, if you're you know if you're gay for, for a man to let the other person know that hey no i think you're hot right and you can't really fake that unless you're taking viagra uh you know doesn't wouldn't that shouldn't that overcome insecurities or what do you think about that you, yeah. know, you understand what i'm talking about i'm right. talking about heart on but if they're coming yes, <laughs> just in case everybody in radio land i got know. that brian uh, you, you, you don't have to spell it out <laughs> and h-a-r-d-o-n again, uh, uh, again the fair warning for <laughs> those with children you know we, we are talking about you know somewhat personal intimate topics yes. here so you might not want your children to hear all of this right um i think if the insecurity is coming from within like you you said before there's not much anybody can do about it right but like guys could be insecure about that too right like it's just not well i suppose it is as common right like sometimes guys are insecure about different things aspects yeah. of their bodies or like how their bodies are behaving or whatever i think most guys have more of an insecurity whether they're willing to admit it or not have more of an insecurity about performance like you know will i be above average will oh, i be sure. below average you know will she tell her friends you know how horrible i was or will she tell her friends how great it was yeah and also, you know, women don't have that very obvious, like, physical barometer that's going to tell you straight up, like, yes or no, is is this fun for her? Right. And so, I yeah, I think you could get paranoid about that if you're, if you're uh, some guys. So, really, the key is, like, if you're in a relationship, then... Just talk about it and be honest with each other, right? Yeah, and, and kind of don't don't judge in the language. Like, just really, just be open and honest, and just be so happy that the person's being open and honest with you about it. I, yeah, mm-hmm. I, I think that makes sense what you're saying. But that that seems as though that it goes much further than the intimate aspects of a relationship. Yeah, of just be open and honest with your partner or. Anybody that you have any kind of relationship with. Yes. Whether it's a friend, a coworker, someone that you would consider an acquaintance. You know, because there there are some people that they don't necessarily consider you know, people that they associate with on a daily basis to necessarily be friends. They might say, like, you know, yeah, I, I've got a bunch of acquaintances. Like I have very few people that I would actually say are friends that mm. I would share personal things with. Right. I've got a ton of acquaintances. Mm. <laughs> but, you know, even with those relationships, being open and honest and communicating, because, you know, if That's... I'm the only one communicating and all you're doing is sitting there and ignoring me then that's not going to work, even if it's, you know, an acquaintanceship. Right. It takes, It's not going to work. Yeah, it takes participation from everybody. And unfortunately, I don't think um, openness is, is, like, too valued in American culture, you know, <laughs> especially when it comes to, you know, some people want to spare others' feelings, other wa- right. others want to avoid conflict. And I get it. I get it. It's it's hard. Like, it's tempting to do that. But especially with a relationship that's going to continue for a long time, right. it's, it is important to and, have those honest conversations. And there's that fine line between openness and just, you know, being too open and not <laughs> acknowledging <Tactlessness>. boundaries. <laughs> yes, or boundaries. Yeah. So... More on this in hour number three. This is Free Talk Live. And of course, you can call in 855 450 free. People are waking up. People are saying no to GMO, gluten, toxins, and sugars. The masses are moving to holistic, natural, and organic foods and supplements. Life Change Tea is a non GMO, gluten free product that helps your body overcome sickness and obesity. You need to order to experience the change. Log on to getthetea.com. That's getthetea.com. Or call us at 928 308 0408. Again, 928 308 0408. You need to order to experience your health change. Get the tea.com. Here's something you don't hear on the radio every day. Someone who can't see. I am totally blind. 
and I go through periods where I'm unable to sleep at night and feel like I'm constantly running but can never quite catch up. But this isn't a sleep problem. It's something called Non24. Learn about the link between total blindness and your symptoms. Visit learnmorenon24.com or call 855-856-2424. Sponsored by Vanda Pharmaceuticals. Do you love coffee as much as I love coffee? Here's a delicious way to drink the best of the best coffee and make a difference one cup at a time. We've partnered with Camano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox Coffee. And you can try a pound for free. All you do is cover shipping. It's organic, shade-grown, top 1% Arabica grade. 10% of future purchases help our efforts to give the gift of human freedom through at least 100 microloans via World Vision. For more information, go to coffee.freetalklive.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Wednesday, April 2nd, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,290, silver opened at $19.97, and Bitcoin is trading at $482.10. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from GrowYourOwnGroceries.org, now offering an eight-week course where you can learn to treat the most common family ailments with simple medicines that you can grow or easily find. Learn more at GrowYourOwnGroceries.org. Support also comes from Bitmain Tech, creators of the newly released Antminer S2 Bitcoin Miner. One terahash and only 1,000 watts. Order yours online today at bitmaintech.com. And support comes from Affordable Sound, CD and DVD duplication along with posters and promotions materials. Online at affordablesound.com or call them 512-459-5253. In the news, since the IRS recently ruled that Bitcoin is property and not currency, how can it be used in the crime of money laundering? That's the question being asked by the lawyer for alleged Silk Road operator Ross Ulbricht. Forbes reports that attorney Ross Dradle has filed a motion arguing that all charges against Ulbricht, including money laundering and conspiracy to traffic in narcotics, be dismissed. More controversy in Albuquerque, New Mexico, where eyewitnesses are questioning the shooting of a fugitive by deputy U.S. Marshals. KRQE is reporting that witnesses claim that Marshals, when they encountered the wanted man sitting in a car, gave their commands to surrender, and immediately opened fire. Eyewitnesses say the fugitive was not armed, sitting with his hands on the steering wheel. He was transported for hospitalized treatment. The outrage follows last Sunday's massive protest in Albuquerque, held to voice opposition to last month's fatal police shooting of homeless resident James Boyd. In an effort to combat food shortages and hoarding, the Venezuelan government has introduced a new identification card system for purchasing food. President Nicolas Maduro stated that the new measures will reduce black market sales of food products. The new measures include fingerprint scanning, taking down cell phone numbers of customers, and banning miners from purchasing food. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Sovereign BTC, media, marketing, and consulting for the Bitcoin ecosystem. Operated by Liberty Beat founder John Bush. Online, SovereignBTC.com. Support comes from The Corey Moore Show, live Friday nights, 9 o'clock central, CoreyMooreShow.com. And support for Liberty Beat comes from Roberts and Roberts Brokerage, Inc. Precious metals at reasonable rates since 1977. Online at rrbi.co. This is the Liberty Beat for Wednesday, April 2nd, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. A controversial classified Senate report on torture concludes that waterboarding and other torture methods did not provide key intelligence in the search for Osama bin Laden. According to the Associated Press and the Washington Post, U.S. officials who have seen the report state that intelligence of significance was not gained through torture, and in some cases, the CIA lied about the effectiveness of information gathered using enhanced interrogation methods. 
On Sunday afternoon, between 100,000 to 500,000 Taiwanese citizens took to the streets of Taipei to protest a possible international agreement with China that they believe will hurt the sovereignty of their nation. The so-called Sunflower Movement has been occupying Taiwan's legislature for two weeks. At one point, nearly 20,000 protesters held the presidential office building. Concerned citizens believe the cross-strait trade and services agreement will give China more influence over Taiwanese matters. NATO announced a suspension of all practical civilian and military cooperation with Russia on Tuesday, condemning the country's illegal intervention in Ukraine as Moscow turned the financial screws on Kiev by hiking the cost of gas. Al Jazeera reports that NATO foreign ministers have issued a strongly worded report that says the Russian takeover of Crimea represented a violation of Ukraine's sovereignty and territorial integrity. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Central Texas Gunworks, CHL courses, self-defense training, and firearm sales. Give them a call, 512-731-3585, or online at centraltexasgunworks.com. And support comes from Cabo Bob's, Southwest Burritos with homemade tortillas, online at cabobobs.com. This is the Liberty Beat for Wednesday, April 2nd, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting. Remember, spread liberty with a smile. Saying that he was giving his co-workers at Marley Publishing just a few more days to catch on to him, local mentally unstable man Michael Redding told reporters he planned on exhibiting one or two more warning signs this week before, quote, finally doing this. I think I'll do just a couple of disconcerting things in front of people here at the office. Maybe give them a day or two to take action through the appropriate channels. But if that doesn't happen, then I'm going through with it. The fully unhinged Redding, who plans on, quote, making this thing happen sometime next week, claims that despite displaying erratic and worrisome behavior around the office for the past few months, his actions have gone completely unreported by his coworkers. I definitely talked about my frustration with life in general, and I even discussed my fascination with all sorts of violence. But that still didn't throw up any red flags. We'll see if anyone catches on. Mike? I don't know him super well, but he's nice enough. He's quiet and he keeps to himself mostly, but I'm sure he'll come out of his shell. Just a matter of time. This is the Onion News Network. Kicking off. This is Free Talk Live. You can call in and talk about whatever you want. 855-450-FREE. That's the Pro XPN toll-free call-in line. 855-450-3733. And in studio tonight, it's Daryl. And Brian. And Stephanie. And... Brian has been sharing a story with us about a woman named Brittany. Yes. And she had taken sort of, I I, I don't think a vow would be the proper term to use. A resolution might be a good one. She made a resolution to make love to her partner every day for a year. Correct. And... So she's been talking about, or rather Brian reading the article that she wrote, has been talking about sort of her progression from thinking it as a chore to more something that she later became to, or began to greatly enjoy and no longer thought of as a chore. She no longer had the self-doubt and self-esteem issues that she did in the beginning. And it sort of led us down the path of just talking about, you know, healthy relationships. Yeah. And, you know, that's something that you don't really hear enough of. It's like how to have a healthy relationship. Right. No. And what is a healthy relationship? What is not a healthy relationship? Because so many of the relationships that people have on a day-to-day basis 
are not really healthy relationships. Yeah, and yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And Stephanie brought up some great points, you know, about what a healthy relationship may look like. Um, but I mean, the main thing we were saying is that, you know, society like imposes what we think of even society. Of relationships. Is not a healthy relationship. No, <laughs> my interaction—that's a good quote society. of the night. Yep, <laughs> it's not a healthy interaction. I agree, and yeah. that's what I meant when I said that most of the relationships that people have on a daily basis are not healthy. Right. So when I go to the post office, you know, yeah, I kind of go there voluntarily because I need to mail something, but I only have one choice. Like I can't go to the American letter mail company Mm. to get something sent across the country. There's one option Mm. and it's a government run option. And anytime you're dealing with government bureaucrats, that's not healthy. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Um, So unfortunately, like kind of this, this woman, Brittany is getting over, uh, you know, insecurities. And I think one of the ways she gets over insecurities is through kind of conventional means in that she, she decides I'm, I'm going to skip ahead a little bit here because we kind of been teasing this for over an hour and yes. I want to get to the climax um, of this year of sex. <laughs> oh <boy>. And, <laughs> and uh, so, you know, she, she, she realizes that she's, you know, since she's been a mom, since she had, and they have a four year old that she's been dressing what she describes as a frumpy. And so she, she goes out and buys sexier clothing. Okay. Okay. Now, sexier clothing, you know, that's like defined by who? You know, Victoria's Secret kind of sets the standard on what's sexy clothing, right? Well, the Victoria's Secret has the highest thread count to profit ratio of any clothing <laughs> company in the world. This is true. So, But, like, it sounded like that description, to be fair, was coming from her. Like, she felt sexier wearing the things yeah, and versus she felt frumpy before... Right. And And it's pretty like objectively true what's sexy, like showing more skin and right and showing curves. Yeah. Okay. Well, how about instead of trying to look, quote unquote, sexy for your partner, just try to feel pretty. Mm hmm. Yeah. And there's definitely a difference between the two. Like, you know, you, you could wear something that is, you know, very, uh, fitting to your body that, would be described as sexy and feel pretty. Mm -hmm. You could wear that and not feel pretty. (laughs) You could I'm not seeing much of a difference, but yeah, okay. I I yeah, sure. No, like some people sometimes people wear things that they think other people find sexy, but they don't necessarily feel comfortable Uh, in it themselves. Sure. What I really find attractive on a woman, and I know that I'm going to sound weird when I say this, I love seeing a woman in a sundress. Mm. I don't think that's weird. Mine's weird, but but go ahead, elaborate. What's yours? Oh, uh, this is going to be really ironic, um, and I haven't explored it yet myself, like in my mind, as to why I find this sexy. <laughs> but uh, but women in like in like BDUs and like in uh, in in military like type clothing like olive drab and and like a tank top i think that's just the sexiest freaking thing and that's so crazy wow yeah i don't know i had no idea that sounds like i told you've you about got that some before. issues brian <laughs> i'm just kidding but <laughs> so, something about the 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 sundress the way it fits on a woman's body is it is tight enough to you know show what her figure looks like Mm -hmm. but at the same time it covers enough to leave something to the imagination it's the perfect combination and it means that it's summer in new hampshire and maybe pork fest sure yes yeah (laughs) so she goes on to saying she bought like sexy underwear and she says that even like wearing it wearing the sexy underwear under a pair of jeans and her husband you know her, her partner never even seeing it just made her feel sexier i still can't help but feel that that's a societal pressure that that's like oh i saw this in a movie and so that's sexy you know what i mean like like i don't think there's an objective standard that that red lace underwear is somehow sexy no No, it's more like the knowledge that you put some effort into it or like you she does describe that yeah okay i I think so and to to say that you know 
obviously there's not an objective standard of what is sexy or what is attractive right because those are very subjective things yeah yeah you know, absolutely. somebody might look at a circle and say well that's an attractive circle and somebody else might look at the same circle and yeah the circle doesn't really do anything sure but the but with dodecahedron beings. that really like ignites my brain that what, ignites but, your brain. But that, we're not that's talking a very about subjective shapes. thing. But we're not talking about shapes. We're talking about humans. And there are, I think, like within a wide range, obviously, there are some things that I think are general signals of attractiveness, which are usually, to me, are correlated with health. Okay, but some people find red hair to be a more appealing feature than blonde hair yeah totally and that has nothing to do with health that's just simple genetics it, it has nothing to do with health but it that's again, why i said it, within a it wide shows range the subjective nature of what is attractive that's true but it's not i find blue eyes but it's not completely subjective though I, I find blue eyes more attractive than you know like other color unless it's one of these sort of eyes to where there's a separate color outside of the iris yeah you like people with the crazy eyes i do <laughs> well that's, not like that's sometimes called the crazy eyes but not, not, the eyes not ringed the by crazy a different eye, color. like you know one eye looking to the left and one eye looking to pluto <laughs> not but, that kind of crazy but eyes, you just but, made a point because symmetry is generally considered beautiful and symmetry especially in the face is an indicator that um, the person had good nutrition when they were a developing fetus. So that's a health thing. I just think a lot of it is related to health. Of course, within a range, like blue eyes, blonde hair, whatever. Right. You know, those are, you can't help those, obviously. But, but I, as far as going back to what started this of certain clothing, you know, it's very subjective because I might think that boy shorts look better <laughs> than a red lace thong. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's very subjective. Yep. But does the subjectivity come from nature or nurture is is what I'm wondering. Is are, What you happened to subject- Daryl when he was a child where he finds this attractive? What went on in his childhood? <laughs> we'll delve in to what happened to Daryl as a child next on Free Talk Live. You can call in 855-450-FREE. Some clubs are pricey. 25 bucks for a cheeseburger? Some are exclusive. My family came over on the Mayflower. And some are snooty. Is she wearing white after Labor Day? (gasps) But America's Best Value Wins Value Club is just right for everyone who wants to save instantly. Value Club members get 15% off, room upgrade, and late checkout when available at most of our 1,000 hotels in North America. Go to americasbestvaluewin.com and sign up today. Now that's better. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. Hi, this is Mark Edge, host of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the very economic engine that powers this country. With a printing press tethered to Washington politicians, bureaucrats, and central bankers, how can we put our trust in paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Come see gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold. With Washington, D.C. delivering more debt and printed promises, common sense tells us the future of the trend is obvious. Everyone listening should visit gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938. I trust Midas Resources for my gold, silver, platinum, and you can too. Again, I want you to have this book, and it's free. It's gold.freetalklive.com or 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. The warning signs. At first, he made me feel special. He promised he'd look after me, provide for my future. He broke every promise he made. Millions of Americans afflicted. I was ready to leave, but he told me he'd change. 
So I gave him another chance. I was such a fool. The consequences. Things only got worse. He started making my decisions for me about my job, my kids' education, my money, my safety, my future. He took away my choices, but I kept going back to the same politicians. The diagnosis? Battered voter syndrome. I fell for the same old lies. They were just playing with my emotions, telling me what I wanted to hear. That's not right. Stop the insanity of voting for the same old abusers. Declare your independence from the two-party system and join the New Hampshire Liberty Party today at nhliberty.info. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Meowbit is free software from the Freedom Fiends that allows you to effortlessly view .bit websites. Meowbit works on all browsers. .bit is a new type of web address that's not controlled by any government or corporation. And we'll show you how to register a .bit domain today using a few cents worth of name coin. If anyone ever shuts down your .com website, users will still be able to get to your site using your .bit address in our free software, Meowbit. Go to meowbit.com. That's M-E-O-W-B-I-T dot com. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. Call in, take over the airwaves, talk about whatever is on your mind. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And, of course, that is the Pro XPN toll-free call-in line. And, again, call in. Talk about whatever is on your mind. In studio tonight, it's Daryl. And Brian. And Stephanie. And Brian has been sharing a story. And before we get back to that... He's got something to tell you. Yeah, uh, you know, most people want to get ahead in life, and uh, nearly all of Free Talk Live's listeners would like to uh, maybe persuade more people toward freedom. Uh, but did you know that some of the solutions that claim to help you grow in those in that area uh, actually backfire? The good news is that 70 years of science shows that even the best leaders can get better, but only if they practice in ways that actually work. And this is according to Dr. Matt Barney, founder of LeaderAmp, uh, who's coached and taught thousands of successful leaders around the world for the last 20 years using the latest science of what works. Dr. Barney has drafted blueprints for a new smartphone app to measure each person and tailor a customized developmental plan, some of which will be pushed to your smartphone. Uh, his vision is to build a community who can access approaches that really work and support each other's development as leaders. Uniquely, it will also allow you to compare your leadership with famous historical leaders like Gandhi or Steve Jobs to help you see that uh, they were not perfect, but overcame their own limitations with practice. The app isn't ready yet. It's, it's being built. But if you want to help advance an approach to grow freedom lovers, persuasion skills, we'd love for you to join the community. Feel free to pre-order. Uh, it's on Indiegogo right now. You can go to leaderamp.freetalklive.com uh, and you can look into that. And that's LeaderAmp. So we've been talking about healthy relationships and specifically the intimate factor uh, in committed relationships and what happens when someone decides to try overcoming all of their personal insecurities by making love to their partner every day for a year. Right. Brian has been sharing the story from HuffPo, and I think you've got a little bit more in this, and then we will get into... Some reasons to get married. Stephanie has brought that article in. Yeah, which is exactly what Brittany did. She got married, had kids, you know, the whole conventional shtick. Uh, and so, you know, she she doesn't want to lose her, you know, her marriage, her partner. And so, uh, you know, this is one of the reasons she's having sex for a year. 
um, you know, every day for a year. And so she, had, we're, we're getting, we're at the climax here of, of the whole business. And so last, last we heard, she tried, started wearing sexy clothes and uh, that really helped her feel a lot more sexy. And so she goes on, um, I like being on my knees and I'm not an inside climaxer. I'm an outside climaxer. I do like oral sex, but I don't <laughs> like having my nipples touched because they are numb. I also hate having breath on my neck because I am extremely ticklish, and then I get goosebumps and my leg hair grows in too fast. Please stop doing that. She's, I mean, it's, it's kind of funny how she's writing all this. And she's like, all that, I had to work on being okay saying all that, all everything we just said, out loud and get over the idea that I was being a selfish, demanding nympho. I deserve good sex as much as he does, and instead of waiting around for him to figure it out, which is totally unfair to guys, by the way, I had to find my voice and use it. Coincidentally, it was a major turn on. Who knew? So what turned her on was her own personal confidence in being able to say, this is what I want. Mm. You know, this is this is what I like, what I don't like. Uh, and and I think that's, that's pretty interesting that, and this is, you know, speaking of healthy relationships, nobody really communicates a lot of times, right. you know, with each other about what they actually want. And being selfish is not bad. That's okay. <laughs> and how many people actually know what it is that they actually want? A, yeah, especially a lot of people, if you've never explored it, yeah. Well, a lot of people think they know what they want. Right. But how many people actually know what they want? Because have they even had the chance to try it? You yeah. know, like, I think it would be great to win the lottery. Right. But that probably would not be the best thing. Maybe not. You know, so <laughs> I, I think I know what I want, but do I actually really know what I want? And there's, there are so many different areas of life to try to figure out what you want. You know, like mm. as far as relationships go and money and employment. Yeah. Even. Oh, yeah. yeah. And we don't really get a lot of help in figuring out what we want out of those areas of life early on. I think it's very much left up to you. You know, they, there's such a focus in school on learning, you know, math and geography and history and all this other stuff. But nobody really tells you like some pretty important life skills, which are like how to communicate with people or how to manage your own emotions or, right. um, you know, how to figure out what makes you happy. You and and I, I would not say that that's necessarily a problem that the schools should be trying to solve. Mm -hmm. That is more a parenting issue. And the reason a lot of parents don't teach their children this is because they were never taught right. as a child. Oh, yeah. And so they're just winging it based on <laughs> their experience as a kid. Well, when I was a kid and something similar happened, this is how my parents reacted. So I should probably react the same way. Right. Yeah, that's kids pick up on so much. It's really true. Um, but just to finish off the, the, the story, uh, she says, you know, at the end of the year, we're not hell bent on doing it every day anymore, but we definitely make more of an effort. And it helped us be a lot more open with each other. And so, I mean, the, you know, the moral of the story is pretty much is communication was everything. You know, it, it really, really was. And it's, it's important, too. She's not really saying it, but I kind of get this hint. And it's certainly how I feel is that sex is so much more than than just the physical sensations and the physical physical pleasures, because it's really uh, I mean, I don't believe in a soul, but it's really a soul to soul. Like, I mean, there, there's I don't want to say emerging, but I mean, there's just a bearing of, of right. everything you are. You know, and when it's great sex, I think that happens. Well, it doesn't have to, but it does. Sex and intimacy are not necessarily the same thing. Sure. You know, you can get, you know, intimacy f just from cuddling. You know, that that's a very, you know. Oh, like the cuddle um, for hire. Th lady. There, there are people that do that, but yeah. there, there's something about prolonged human touch. Right. That yeah. really does help relieve stress. And, you know, it, it's very calming. Mm. Our society, too, that's another thing. People are so weird about touch. 
Yes. You know, like it's it's not okay to touch anyone except if you're having sex with them. And then it then all touch becomes sexualized when it's not really that way. Right? Yeah. You know, and right. there's something key there, because at the beginning of this article, Brittany says that she came from a family. You know, we didn't hug. Right. And I, I think hugging is great. I mean, I, I yeah. love it. It was one of the best things I loved when I moved to New Hampshire is like guys hug. I, I think that's that's so awesome. Uh, and Hear that, people? In New Hampshire, guys hug. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, touch is is a really, really big deal. And that touch is also, as much as, you know, talking is communication, touch is communication as well. Yeah, and it's very important communication. Yeah. And it could be as simple as, you know, just like reaching over and grabbing someone's hand. Or giving a hug or something even more intimate and personal. You can call in, talk about anything. Tom, we will get to you when we come back. This is Free Talk Live. If you owe the IRS back taxes, listen carefully. Sweeping changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever eliminate their tax debts once and for all. And now, thanks to Dan Pillow, you can get the tax help you need to end your tax nightmare. Hi, I'm Dan Pilla. I've helped thousands of people reduce or eliminate tax debts they couldn't pay. And after more than 30 years of experience dealing with the IRS, I can tell you there's no such thing as a hopeless tax case. With the IRS's new policies, it's easier than ever to put your tax debt behind you once and for all. Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. Call 800-346-6829. Learn how I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. Or go to my website, TaxHelpOnline.com. That's TaxHelpOnline.com. The following is an important free offer for smokers only. The makers of Victor, the world's most advanced e-cigarette, have just authorized the release of free starter kits to all smokers who call in the next 10 minutes. Valued at $99, these Victor starter kits are available for free, but only while supplies last. To guarantee your free kit, call in the next 10 minutes, 1-800-564-6941. The revolutionary Victor design creates only water vapor. There is no foul-smelling smoke and no unhealthy tar. This allows individuals to enjoy the nicotine they love without restriction, no matter where they are. The financial advantages over cigarettes are considerable as well. It is estimated that the average smoker can save hundreds of dollars a month with Victor. Again, free Victor starter kits are now available to any smoker who calls in the next 10 minutes. This is a radio-only offer not available in stores, so call now for your free kit. 1-800-564-6941. 1-800-564-6941. 1-800-564-6941. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at fpp.cc as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com. The monthly newspaper FPP News at news.fpp.cc and books at shop.fpp.cc. 
Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can call in, like Tom has done, talk about anything that's on your mind. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And, of course, that is the Pro XPN toll-free call-in line. In studio tonight, it's Daryl. And Brian. And Stephanie. And Tom, you are on the air. What's on your mind? Hey, guys. Uh, I'm a pretty regular listener. I haven't called in in a while. Uh, haven't, uh, anyway, we've got an issue here right now, a situation that actually made the Drudge Report, and I'm sure it's probably going to go more than that. Uh, there was an attack on a gentleman. Uh, I'm 53. He was 53 or 54. Uh, he literally, where this happened in Detroit, was right on the corner of where I lived, and I got the hell out of there because it was getting... Uh, just worse and worse. And he ran over a, a young boy, maybe even it, it was, might have even been a, uh, a, a, uh, a plan to, because they're, they're, you know, he might have jumped out in the road to get him to stop, but ran over a young boy, got out to do the right thing. Oh my gosh, I ran over somebody. I want to see what happened. And now all the neighbors came out and have beat him into a coma. Oh and my only, gosh. Not only that, not only that, what makes it even worse is they stole all the stuff in his truck, stole his money, stole his phone, stole his wallet. What? There's some video surveillance that, that the police have, but nobody's coming for it. I mean, wow. Really so did they, I, like, why did they start stealing his stuff? Did they figure, like, well, he ran over this boy, so we can do whatever we want to him? Well, from what I understand, I mean, I'm surprised, and I'm, I'm sure you guys will be hearing about it, because I believe this story is going to go viral. I really do. And which is not good, because I live on the outskirts of this city, and I really don't want to have a race war. And I'm really concerned if our government is not seriously trying to promote this race hatred. If you see all these knockout, this knockout game going on. All the blacks that are participating in this, and there's, it, there's just hundreds of incidents, nobody's been charged with a hate crime. The minute one white man did it, instantly hate crime. I mean, I, I don't understand this. I, I don't know if they're trying to separate us, if our government is trying to incite race wars to keep us from paying attention to what's really happening with our, you know, our, our economy and everything else, our, our monetary system. But it, it's just getting to a point where I'm afraid to even drive anywhere near Detroit. I, I have extremely white blonde hair. And so I, I'm, I'm, you are you saying, Tom, so this was a white driver ran over a yep. black boy and black people beat him up? Oh, yeah. And I, I can't believe you guys haven't heard about it. Go, it it's, it's been big news. Well, we forgive us, a, but I mean, did, is this, you really think this is going to start a race war? I mean... It, well, if you look at what happened, and I realize that... There's a history of... The, that this is Detroit, a lot different than what happened in L.A., mm -hmm. but if you look at what happened in L.A. with the Rodney King situation, mm -hmm. and then during the midst of the riots, there was the white truck driver that was driving through L.A. and was pulled out of his truck and had, you know blocks like concrete blocks smashed into his head right so well, you know it, it might be something that sparks some kind of riot in detroit and i know that things in detroit aren't good the police have you know shut down services to certain neighborhoods they've cut down the times mm -hmm. in which you can actually even call the police. Well, the one thing that does it, give it's me... It's now like 9 to 5, Monday through Friday. Yeah. If you get robbed any other time, well, you got to wait till the morning. The one thing that 
I feel encouraged by is that I know Detroit does have the Threat Management Center. Yes. Which is a, it's not a private police per se, but it is a conflict resolution organization that focuses on de-escalating conflicts and resolving them in peaceful ways, which is something that the police, that's not like in their goals. You know, that's not what they do really. Um, so I wonder if they would be willing to get involved in this. Uh, I, well, I Go, go ahead. Yeah. I mean, my, my concern here is Detroit has a very unfortunate history um, of what would one might want to describe as a race war. I mean, in the 60s, 70s, I mean, buildings on fire, the, the whole business, you know, and, and, and a lot of people claim pretty much it took a Tigers winning game to put an end to it, to, you know, to kind of unite the city. Uh, but, you know, so I think I think tensions are particularly heated. Well, they should just eminent domain the football yeah, team. Right, and that's yeah, right. That'll solve the problem. <laughs> um, Detroit can't eminent domain itself. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. But um, but I mean, you I think tensions are 10 times higher in in Detroit than perhaps anywhere in the country for this kind of thing. The sensitivities are 10 times higher. And I think the story gets naturally bigger because of that. Boy, Tom, I mean, I, I you know, I understand where you're coming from. I hope it's not that kind of like scenario where it's, it's being, uh, uh, you know, actually orchestrated. Um, I mean, because, you know, again, it is a place where, where the sensitivities are just super, super high and just absolutely tragic. Anything else to add, Tom? Yeah, oh yeah. I mean, right now, even the comment you just made, the sensitivities are super, super high. You know, you look at that for a second, Jesse Jackson and Al Sharpton would be here in a minute if this was the other way around. Not a peep out of anybody. And I don't want to sound like a racist, because I'm really, really trying to understand and be a free person as, you know, I've been listening to Free Talk for years, and I, and I, I listen to them. Stefan Molyneux religiously, uh, Mark Stevens with the No State Project, and he has really helped me out. I've been going through some court issues, which we'll talk about later, but or another time. But but the bottom line is, you know, us white folks. I mean, we're just being cornered. It, it just you you can't be white and have any rights. If that man would have, I left think that's an exaggeration. Yeah, I, I don't feel like I'm being cornered, and I'm white. Uh, I mean. If that man would have left the scene because he felt unsafe, he would be in jail. He he had no options. He stopped to help. He did the right thing. Yeah. And now he's in a coma. I mean, this guy is probably going to die. That's how bad they beat him. Well, yeah. I, I don't think that anybody is you know, saying that beating someone into a coma is a reasonable response no. to someone being hit by a car especially a 10 year old getting struck by a car but what we are saying is that you know i i don't feel as though i'm you know being reverse discriminated against because of the amount of pigmentation in my skin and i, I mean, think if stephanie you, is saying the same thing yeah like on an institutional level anyway like it is totally statistically shown that like black and hispanic especially young men do get discrim discriminated against they're disproportionately in jail and harassed by the cops and the stop and frisk and all that uh and i mean yeah i i see what you're kind of saying tom it's you know sometimes I, it can I, feel like anyone the, is being discriminated the against. societal outrage is not at the same level as it would have been had the races been reversed in this situation. And I, yeah. I think that everybody would acknowledge that. Mm -hmm. But to say that it's because white people can be discriminated against and that's somehow society societally okay, I, I, I wouldn't go as far as to agree with that. Well, I, I would like to ask one other thing. I'm, I'm here on Craigslist, and I'm, <clears throat> I've been trying to uh, gather some people that are somewhat like-minded, that understand the lib uh, principles of liberty, and I'm trying to, and I know, you know, I don't want to compete with you guys. I really would like to move to New Hampshire, to tell you the truth. I like it cold. I'm blonde hair, blue eyed. We come from the cold. I'm good. <laughs> but anyway, I, I'd like to try to find... And it's been my goal in the last few days to try to find people here in the Detroit area. There is. It's like the Michigan Peace and Liberty Coalition, MPLC.org, I believe. If you look and up. I they have a festival also, every year. I would also look up a 
Ron Paul meetup and possibly Liberty on the Rock. I think there's free Detroit too. Tom, free Detroit. Thanks for the call. Your calls welcome. 855 450 free. This is Free Talk Live. People are waking up. People are saying no to GMO, gluten, toxins, and sugars. The masses are moving to holistic, natural, and organic foods and supplements. Life Change Tea is a non-GMO, gluten-free product that helps your body overcome sickness and obesity. You need to order to experience the change. Log on to GetTheTea.com. That's GetTheTea.com. Or call us at 928-308-0408. Again, 928-308-0408. You need to order to experience your health change. GetTheTea.com. Honey, look, I'm getting jerky with it. You're getting what? Getting jerky with it. I'm getting jerky at jerkyspot.com. They've got over 100 delicious jerkies to choose from, like crunchy maple bacon jerky, cranberry jalapeno, and even liquor-infused beef jerky. Go to jerkyspot.com today and save $5 on your first order. Use the code TRYJERKYSPOT. Jerkyspot.com. It's all your favorite jerky in one spot. Uncover a simple privacy loophole that can stop the NSA spying thugs in their tracks at privacylockdown.com. The NSA has already shut down hundreds of sites, and the truth be told, they could shut down this operation at any time. See, the privacy loophole I'm about to show you allows you to make all your sensitive information disappear in the next 30 days or less. Go to privacylockdown.com now to take your life off the grid and see the loophole in the NSA and FBI spying machine before they close the loophole forever. Go to privacylockdown.com. I'm a very bad man, and I'm outside your house. I see you've got an alarm. Outstanding. Because houses with alarms always have the coolest stuff. Unless you've got a door double reinforcing your door frame. I'll kick your fancy door just like any other door. And I'll be gone before the police even get the call. Don't worry, I'll try not to make a mess. Ha ha ha! Door devils are available at participating Ace Hardware stores and locksmiths. Or visit doordevil.com. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on, joined the Free State Project, and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp dot freetalklive dot com If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. My name is Jacob Hornberger. I'm president of the Future of Freedom Foundation, which Congressman Ron Paul awarded for having an outstanding freedom website. Write us at fff at fff.org, and we'll send you a free three-month subscription to our monthly journal of libertarian essays and our booklet, Economic Liberty in the Constitution, which George Mason University economics professor Walter Williams praised in a recent column. That's fff at fff.org. You're listening to the best liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the final segment of tonight's Free Talk Live. Still time for you and your thoughts. If you call in now to the Pro XPN toll-free call-in line, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And in studio tonight, it's Daryl. 
And Brian. And Stephanie. And Stephanie is going to tell us 11 reasons why someone should get married. And apparently we're going to try refuting all 11 of these (laughs) reasons. But first... Well, to be able to do that, you might want to enhance your brain a little bit. And a great brain enhancer in my mind is caffeine. And a great way to get caffeine oh, yes. is coffee. Drug of choice. That's right. <laughs> uh, and if you're going to get coffee, I want you to go to coffee.freetalklive.com. And there you're going to get some of the best 100% organic, top 1% Arabica grade coffee you can get anywhere. And it's from BuzzBox. This is phenomenal coffee. The price is right. Uh, you know, it's shade grown, the whole business. I mean, everything that you want out of a great coffee, believe me, BuzzBox is doing. And to make it even sweeter, they are working with, uh, you know, uh, microfinance loans. Uh, and you can help fund that by work by working through BuzzBox. Free Talk Live and BuzzBox are working together on this. This is really exciting. G- get great coffee Help out, you know, less developed parts of the world. You can try it for free, too, Yeah, right? you get a free pound. All you got to do is pay for the shipping. You got to pay for the shipping. But you can get a free pound just, just to make sure we're telling you the real thing. But this coffee is amazing. I want you to go to coffee.freetalklive.com and give it a try. So, <laughs> Stephanie, tell me 11 horrible reasons why someone should get married. Okay, so this was an email that actually are got... These, these are good reasons, right? Well, according to the um, spiritual luminary self-described who wrote this article, which was sent to me my free talk live email, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, these are reasons why sh- he or she thinks that you should get married. Um, oh, it's a she. I'm sorry. Um, but I actually disagree with pretty much all of these. So I figured it would be kind of an interesting thing to talk about. So number one, since we're short on time, In the physical dimension, we live in a binary universe. This duality is a source of contrast. Actually, we live in a quantum universe, but go ahead. The unification of this duality is bliss. Marriage provides us the opportunity to live out the physical expression of this unification of dual aspects. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I don't really understand. I'm not exactly clear on exactly what this, what she was trying to say there. Read that statement again please (laughs) in the physical dimension we live in a binary universe the duality is a source of contrast the unification of the duality is bliss so i think she's saying that marriage it represents a coming together of the dualist masculine universe the 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 masculine the feminine the yin the yang you become up and the down (laughs) right but it's it sounds like mystical stuff to me that doesn't really have much meaning you know well, I mean, mean, the instant somebody starts saying binary universe and and duality and all yeah. that stuff, you're you're in for a mystical trip. No That's doubt just about kind it. of a statement that that is taken for granted. Okay, like, so okay, you, you need to first take acid and then <laughs> read the list. I think that might be the. Key. Is that a good reason to get married? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> well, number two is the through a symbolic act of public pair bonding, other people feed energy to the union. It's a declaration of love, a powerful setting of intention, and so it sounds like she's saying there that if you get married in front of a bunch of people they give you their energy which what what exactly I guess there's some does great that really consciousness mean? joining i i have no yeah, idea i don't really like i don't really want to suck other people's energy uh you, and I don't you know well, I, I don't think it's <laughs> sucking their energy but it's one of those things and it goes back to the healthy relationship sort of thing mm-hmm. and the positive human interaction and if two or more people are interacting together as we are tonight at the end of the interaction whoa, whoa wait a minute i'm just doing a radio show <laughs> no, we're, we're, we're still interacting oh, okay all right I, I didn't say we were interacting intimately <laughs> but we're we're interacting and i don't feel more drained emotionally than I did at the beginning of the night. Yeah. And so if you have positive human interactions, then you all go away from the interaction feeling either as good or better than when the interaction began. Yeah. I and can I, see I think that that's point. what is trying to be said here in a Just very mystical way, mystical feel good words that 
need to be translated into normal <laughs> human speak. Well, the the last sentence of this is a power. It's a powerful setting of intention. And I agree. If you have a ceremony in front of your friends and say, "Hey, we love each other," that is a setting of intention. It's kind of a it's kind of a thing that makes you almost accountable to your friends, which that can be an issue because like some people believe that it's good to uh, get married because then if you're, you know, if you have some stress or problems in your relationship, your friends are supposed to say, oh no, but you got married. Like you're supposed to work it out. You're supposed to stick it out. Yeah. I mean, I, I think it's good to have a joyous moment and share it with friends. But look, if that relationship's not joyous anymore, nobody needs to come up to you and tell you, hey, you know, why don't you try working it out? Or no one needs to like kind of shame you into staying into that relationship. Just go. It's okay. Right. And and that's, I hope one of the reasons listed here isn't something to do with government. This is one of the, the Well, terrible... actually, that, that is a reason. Uh, number and, seven is well, it guarantees legal rights. Before we get rights. to number seven, <laughs> I just want to touch on something that Brian mentioned about, you know, Oh well, you know, you're you're married, so just stick it out. I actually know people who have done stateless uh I, I, I forget the term uh like a, a hand binding ceremony. Okay, yeah. And hand fasting? That's it. Yeah, that's the pagan word, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I always thought that it was hand fastening, and I was like, "Why don't you just call <laughs> they do it like wrap hand a cloth binding? around it?" But anyway, uh, go ahead. yeah, they they wrap a cloth, yeah. and so I just thought that they were saying fastening weird. Uh, but anyway, they they've done that, and every year on the anniversary, they then renew the vows to one another mm-hmm. if they jointly decide to stay together for another year. Sure. So it's a thing of, hey. I still like you. You still like me. Let's give it another go. I I can get behind that kind of reassessment. I like that. So, you know, that sort of thing might be a reason, especially if the two of you are living in a committed relationship already, you know, just sort of making vows to one another. And, you know, if you want to do it in front of your friends, then, hey, you know, why not throw a little party to go with it? Yeah, but I mean, but again, the instant you don't want to be a part of that relationship, I mean, you know, don't you don't have to like, oh, I, we got to stick with this. We, we've got to stay go. together for six more yeah. months because that's because <laughs> we, we only reevaluate once that, a that's year. When, that's when <laughs> yeah. we have our employee evaluations. <laughs> right. <laughs> and that that's sort of what it seems to be. If it gets to the point of where neither party wants to remain together, mm. then it becomes like one of these, you know, employee relationships where, nope, you have a contract and a non-compete agreement. You can't leave. But even if you do, <laughs> you can't go work anywhere else. Right, right. Well, like I said, I, I'll skip down to number seven. And number seven is the legal rights. So, you know, I, wow. Uh I just don't uh, privatize marriage. Yeah. <laughs> Can we well, do that already? So, some of the rights that you get from, you know, being husband and wife can be obtained without government paperwork. Right. Sure. If two parties in certain jurisdictions decide that they wish to live as spouse mm-hmm. and spouse, then they get certain rights. Among yeah. those are tax benefits, hospital Property. visitation, yeah, uh, but why inheritance is it, rights. But why is it that, like, in the legal framework, you know, whether you can visit somebody in the hospital depends on whether you have, like, a certain type of lifestyle with them? I, I think most hospitals actually now are pretty understanding of unconventional relationships, yeah. uh, especially with a lot of medical training having to do with sensitivities towards, uh, you know, non-traditional relationships, homosexuality, things of that nature. And uh, so I, I think I think these arguments are, are starting to fall away of the legal benefits. Well, what about the security? That's number eight. Marriage provides a level of exper- uh, security that some never experience outside of marriage. If you need marriage for security, your relationship's already gone. Yeah, what, I mean, what I've, kind of secure <laughs> is this? Emotional security is this? I physical think, security. I think she means emotional security, and I mean security can also be a ball and chain that ties you to something yeah. that at some point you may not want to be in anymore. Right. right. So anyway, uh, do we need to lock each other down? I, no, I don't think so. There's nothing wrong with commitment. You but, can if you want, but yeah. there's no need. Yeah, and, yeah. and let's get the state. It's out all of it, voluntary. <laughs> As is this show, and we'll be back in 21 hours.
online in the meantime at freetalklive.com. From the creation of the Bible in 1912 by a struggling Baltimore book salesman to the day in 1493 when Christopher Columbus and his crew looked back on their voyage and realized what they truly discovered was themselves. The Onion looks back at This Week in History. On July 21, 1969, astronaut Neil Armstrong became the first human to set 